Bam! Oh, we did it. We fixed it. Can you believe it? Holy moly. Almost, almost didn't stream then. Fucking internet. Thanks for sticking with me. You're the true, the true fans, the real chat, the best chat, the ones who didn't just jump ship as soon as things got patchy. You stuck through me, through thick and thin, and now we're here. We've traveled through the warp. Chaotic energies battering our Giller fields as we strive to salvation. Oh my god, guys. Thank you. Unfortunately, there was a casualty. A casualty in the warp. I lost my feed of everyone what cheered and subscribed while I was fucking around and turning it off and on again a million times. Um, I will try to recover, recover all the lists. Ah. Oh. What are my thoughts on the new Thank Warhammer magazine? I didn't. I don't know about a new Warhammer magazine. Tell me more. Oh my, what's going on here? Have all my cameras been moved? What? That's that's too. That's too bright. That's just too bright. Is that better? Mm. Oh well, it is what it is. Ah, right. Uh, ooh, who's this? Jeraw just used their Twitch Prime. Thank you, Jeraw. Um. Hey, hey, word. We'll see if they're... Oh, now this light's flickering. What is wrong? Clearly, I haven't prayed to the machine spirit properly. Let's get some sound in here. Game volume. Here we go. Is that coming up on... Can you hear that on stream? Oh. Oh, my God. Um... Oh, there's too many messages. Let me just check these subs. Uh, Nubbers, Nubbers. Hey, it's me, Nubbers, has subscribed. Thank you, Nubbers. I'm sorry. Is it mean? Do you want me to stop doing that voice? It, it makes me laugh. Uh, if you want me to stop, I'll stop. Thank you, Nubbers. Um, UniV. Um, continue to give stop. Thank you, UniV. Who else did I miss? We had um, Well Warren Drax. Has been subscribed for two months. Thank you very much. And, oh no, I'm going to have to go back in time somehow. Because there was more than that. Ball of String just subbed. My mini feed is not working. Even the new ones aren't coming through on the feed. This is a disaster. Still getting the sounds. Hmm. New mods added. Yeah, I did add a couple of new mods, actually. Um. Oh no, has my game crashed? Am I looking forward to Warhammer Total War 3? Yeah, I am. If you go back to the um, the Tom and Ben Total Warhammer stream that we did like two or three weeks ago, whenever Total War was was announced, we talk about it for quite a long time there. Um, so if you really want some details, check that out. The VOD's on Yogs Live. Um, but yeah, yeah, very excited. More Total War Warhammer. I love that game. It's going to be great. I'm most excited for the, like, Chaos Overhaul. I think that'll be very cool. They really need some loving. Um, I'm not super excited about um, Cafe, because, I, like, they've just never been a thing. There's never been any, like, lore or models or anything about Cafe. So, I'm sure, well, hopefully it'll be good, but I can't really get excited for something I know nothing about. Um, Sputnik Kitty, thank you. Uh, they've subbed for 12 months, and they say, my sub is one year old. Happy birthday. Also, most excited about Total Warhammer 4, Age of Sigmar. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? If they did do an Age of Sigmar game, that might be enough for me to, like, understand what the fuck's going on in Age of Sigmar and actually, like, take an interest in it. That might be what I need. I just need, like, a map with the factions on and some people's names who, I, you know, I don't know who they are and what they're doing. That might just be what it takes for Ben to care. Um, who is this? Lanyro just subscribed for four months and says, New Elves and Vampires in Age of Sigmar makes my wallet hurt. Ah, Yeah, pick. You've got to make some tough choices. It's a real shame when they make lots of cool models all at the same time. You never know. You never know which one to go for. <laughs> you can give me a name. Sigmar is in there somewhere. Oh, that just... That, perfect. That's all I needed. Thank you. Um, Loop Stracken just uh, subscribed and says, My cogitators are malfunctioning. Witty comment not found. <laughs> Thank you, Loop Stracken. 
Uh, Nev Bao used their prime. Thank you. Um, uh, Castrian used their prime. Thank you. Ball of String says, "What else to use? What else to use prime for? There's nothing interesting on main channel." Zzz. Oh man, I was Tom and Ben every Wednesday at five. But yeah, other than that, who knows? Who knows? Is our Draw, hey, hey, word, numbers, thank you. Um, well, we're in Drac. Oh, I said that one, but thank you again. Um, our minibus he says, Ben, third time's the charm. Trying to get my name right. Love you, man. Keep up with the goodness. And then, hang on, let me get this right. Let me get this right. Um, our nine nimbus. Our nine nimbus. Is that you? Did I get it right this time? I'm just going to keep going for different, different attempts every time. Uh, Perry Hadrion, just use their prime. Thank you. High quality content you, you signed up for. Thank you. Are the Yogscast raided? The raid came in just as I was like having technical difficulties, but we got there in the end. I hope you're still here, Yogscast peeps. Uh, Caliban Elite just says, yes. Thank you for subbing. Gustav the Second, thank you. Uh, Jeremiah von Pringleton has just subscribed and says, greetings, Bon Bon. I have a 3D printer now, and I'm working on tuning it. Also, throw me on the wheel for Tier 2 Servo Skulls. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah von Pringleton. Have fun with your 3D printer. I'm jealous. I really want one. Uh, Blizzard resubbed. Continuing my run as a VOD Goblin. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Blizzard. I appreciate that. Uh, Head Twist resubbed. Uh, Calface 3 used their prime. Thank you. CA129 used their prime. Thank you, Lord Mahud. Just subscribed, thank you. Aldranas cheered 100 bits. Alec H, uh, resubbed and says, Bon, I recently bought tiny toys. Currently trying out a bunch of different schemes as my normal. Oh, no, hang on. I read that one the other day. That was from a different stream. But thank you again. Um, What did I just miss? Nubbers. Nubbers just gave out 20 gifty voice does. Everyone should get a silly voice. Oh, thank you, Nubbers. That's incredibly generous. You deserve better than me and Tom. Fate We're no good seed. for you. <laughs> oh, uh, nerve gas just resubbed with their prime. Just remember, Twitch exists. Well, welcome back to the wonderful world of Twitch. Thank you, nerve gas. Uh, Space doof cheered hundred bits. Thank you. And atomic, atomic eggnog gave out a gift sub. Thank you, atomic eggnog. An intrepid pirate resubbed for three months. Are we losing? Are we losing the stream again? No. Are you still here? Oh shit! I think. Am I back? Fucking hell! Something's not right. Something not right in Bristol Internet, apparently. Um, I'm going to check, like, Virgin website. Um, check Virgin Media Status. Is there, like, a, an issue around here? Um, let's find out. Uh, no known issues, apparently. Um... I have to sign in. Oh, God. I'm on the wrong... Ah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm just going to... I'm just going to quickly log in to Virgin Media and say, this ain't right. Fix it. So just take a minute. Because it's been being wacky all Fake afternoon. Come on. Come on. Run test. Uh, oh no, shit. Is our seed. If I do the test, I won't be able to use the internet for 10 minutes. Ooh, that's no good. Shit. Oh, the hatters are here. Hey, yo. How you guys doing? I heard you guys were having internet trouble too. My stream's a bit, bit fucky today. Welcome, hatters. Were you guys having trouble too? Someone said you were. Might have been a lie. You lost me for about a minute there. Oh, okay, well, hopefully, hopefully it holds. 
Seems to be doing alright. Craig had problems. Shit. Well, hopefully they fixed it. Because this is kind of working? Question mark? Craig is our shield. I think it's working. Well, welcome. Welcome, everyone. One and all. We're playing RimWorld today. Check it out. Um, did I just get some subs? Thank you, Imperator Benny, Craig for resubbing the Bemperon Protects. Thank you, Psydux, for cheering 300 bits. Um, thank you, unpronounceable Korean or Chinese name uh, that I can't read for cheering 200 bits. Thank you, Space Doof. Um, let's get into it. Let's do a little recap. Craig what have we got? So we're playing... Um, we're, about, we're under attack. That's what's happening. Check this out. Look, we've got um, up here, we've got two crew chicken men and a towel. And then up here, we've got another another towel with a gun drone and a, and a crew chicken man. Uh, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least 10 or 11 enemies coming. Gun drones, towel fire warriors, crew, crew people. There's another crew person. Um... So they're coming in. I've told all my boys to like hold tight and stay indoors. Hopefully they're all going to come through here. They're going to climb over the sandbag into the killing field, which is covered in barbed wire and massive quad stubber turrets at either end. Plus this little dinky turret too. Um, we'll see if that holds. They may tunnel through like a weak spot up here or down here. This spot's not so bad. If they come through the south... This thing can still at least shoot them. So it could be worse. We'll have to see what happens. We've got Fipsy here. He's the king. He gets the throne. He's like the Arch Magos of our facility. He's got um, his venerable Sekatari defenders here. Astarad, the nude doctor. Um, he's a pacifist as well. So he's just going to hang around. Swing in. Swing in loose. Fancy free. Standing in front of the air vent. Oh, oh here we go. Come on. Oh my god. These turrets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Astrad, hang on. Hang on, sir. Careful. Um, I will purge. So we'll get um, we'll get Astrad back. And then we'll grab everyone else and get them, like, up here, I guess. Uh, is anyone coming up the north? Take One person's heading back. south. Okay. So we'll grab three southerners go south. We'll grab all the northerners to go north. We'll see how this goes. Uh, God, these guys. Oh, this is brutal. What are you doing to yourselves? Oh, <laughs> I almost feel bad for these guys. Ah, This asshole just... Look, I've got a little power generator down here. And he's just cut the wires. Like a real ass. Oh, dog! Doggo. Um, okay, what we need actually is to clear the lockdown zone and not allow the kill field to be part of the lockdown zone. That's it. Good boy. Alright. <laughs> Almost feel bad. Almost feel bad, but not, not quite. Um, oh, we got a shuttle. Oh, yeah, so this is um, this is for Warmaster. Um, he's our newest guy, and I promised on a quest that um, he could go off and do a thing. What was it? Um, they requested a laborer for seven days. So I'm sending Warmaster off because he's our newest guy, and I haven't figured out what he's good for. Um, after this battle, we'll catch up on the donos because, man, the... The sub subs are just ringing in. So generous. Thank you, guys. Oh, God. Goodbye, Warmaster. See you soon. Who's this jerk? Oh, there's a gun drone trying to... Oh, crap. That's annoying. He's going to hack through this wall and get in here. We'll have to... Um... Oh, my God. We really need to beef up defences now, actually, that means. We're going to have to, like, dismantle one of these walls. Uh, who else is still around? There's a guy bleeding out there. 
Is this guy out? Yeah, they're, they're noping out. Okay. I guess you guys can go back to work now. Yeah, we've got to send a welcoming committee. That's a good point. Oh, no. He's already in. Okay. Right then. Well, Fipsy. Go get him, sir. Oh, he's just... He's fleeing. He, fle he fled through my base. Okay. Of course he did. Um, well, I guess we need, that means we need to re-up the wall here. Right, okay. Well, that... I thought that was going to be a bit more terrifying. I was a bit scared. When we ended last week's stream, um, I was like, oh, we're in trouble now then. But, no. The, the new turrets are just the best thing in the world. Uh, someone needs to um, fuck up that, that last bleeding crew. Uh, there we go. You can do it. Murder. Murder the chicken man. We'll get there in the end. So what was that? That was Commander Jack resubbed. Thank you, Commander Jack. Uh, Anti Bream resubbed for nine months. It says, hey Ben, it's my sub baby. Oh, congratulations on your sub Take baby. Me into my dog has since recovered from a heart failure. Although she isn't eating well right now. Can I have something named Chief Scribe Antonius the Fourth? Dude, I will put you on the list. Um, the way it works is that if anything comes up to name, I'll randomly select someone who donated this stream or, or subscribed um, and rename them. And then at the end of the stream, I get all the names of everyone who donated and cheered and, and subbed and I stick them on um, into the mod. And then when random things turn up, it will select names from that list. So like random like trading convoys and bandits and shit will all be named after people who subbed the previous week. So um, I make no promises, but a lot of people do get in. I'll try and get as many as I can. Where is this guy going? Jimmy Space, where are you taking that corpse? Was that the quickest way? Was that quicker than coming down? Apparently so. And corpse. So we've got a little corpse storage here. This is um, this is where the dog eats, basically. People not allowed in there. Doggos are. Where is the doggo? There he is. Why is he sleeping in the hallway? Fredvan, you've got a bed right there. You weird dog. Got asthma, bless him. Aww. Um, is he not allowed to walk through the trench? I, I told them they can walk anywhere. Unrestricted. Oh well. Um... Oh yeah, I've got to fix the line to the generator. Thank you for reminding me. I was too busy chatting. So we need to go boop, boop. Is there a way I can protect this better? Should I build it into a wall? Should I build the, the whole thing as a wall? Um, will they just attack the wall? Or will they leave it alone if it's... I don't know. just don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um, needs to be three wide. To make the wall thick. If you smooth the rough stone on the cliff, you can have a cable run through there. Really? I've never heard of that. That's mind blowing. Take me into battle. Oh my god, ball of string. Holy moly. I hope you don't mind this. I very much appreciate that, but I'm just gonna have to mute alert sounds for a sec. Oh I can't, because my streamlabs has crashed. Um right, well we're about to get twenty one <laughs> twenty one notifications. Thank you very much, Ball of String. That is super generous. Um Holy moly. 
Rare occasion that you can afford to do that. Well, I very much appreciate it, Ball of String. Holy moly, what happened? Did you get like a tax rebate or something? Congrats. Man, I don't know what to say. It's very cool. Thank you very much, Ball of String. <laughs> you crashed Streamlabs exploit. <laughs> oh my god, Spiff, did you did you figure out how to do it? How to kill Streamlabs? Yeah, I'm actually a bit worried. I think I need to restart my Streamlabs OBS, but if I do that, the stream will die. It's kind of not responding. I can't click anything on it. I guess that means I can't take a break. Oh, no, I can take a break. How weird. I just can't use the feed. <laughs> oh, Commander Jack just gave Spiff a, a gift sub. Thank you, Commander Jack. That's super kind. Nubbers, it's me, Nubbers. I want to have the most gift subs. So I've given five more. <laughs> <laughs> Nubbers, you son of a bitch. You just had to pit ball of string, didn't you? That one defeats Nubbers. I, I will keep the crown of Subbers. <laughs> Subbers is king. No one, no one forget. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nubbers. That's very cool. Begun. The Sub Wars have... Oh, don't 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 even try to take on on Nubbers. He will own you. They don't call him Subbers for nothing. You know you can't defeat that raw power. Um, thank you, Great Alexander, for subbing too. And uh, OXCJ using your Prime. Thank you. Um, the Lidlean used your Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, Nathan Arenta used uh, just just subbed up. Very kind. Thank you. Jet Nebula, thanks for subbing. Commander Jack. Thank you very much. We've probably had some donos in that aren't coming up on my feed. I'll have to go check the um check the records. We'll do a do a sub read in a minute. I um I don't know read in a minute once I've um once I've finished like getting getting the work jobs assigned. Uh what headset do I use? I use one that was given to me from the Oxcast. Let me have a look. Um, it's a Bayer Dynamic DT297. Works for me. Is it possible to gift more subs than there are viewers? It's true. Yeah, you can. If there's no one, if everyone in the channel is subbed and you give out a gift sub, apparently, I'm told, it goes to someone who follows the channel but isn't there at the time. Um, so the legend goes. Uh, hang on, right, okay, let me, I will chat with you guys in a sec. I just need to, um, queue up all the work orders. Uh, all right, I want to make a cogitator so that we can do the next high level of tech, which means making some more components. Um... Okay. I'd love to do it. Uh, is everyone everyone's working? Okay, so I can just leave it running while we chat for a bit. Um Oh Mounds has had it happen to him multiple times. Nice. All right, let me check the sub sub list, because I don't for some reason it's being weird. Um the donos are not popping up as notifications, but I'm sure there's some in there. And I don't want you guys to get forgotten. Uh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, they are, there are there are some here. What did we get? We had Red's fan. Red's fan donated $5, thank you. And says, hey Ben, here's my first attempt at painting grim dark style using oils and dry pigments. Painted in honor of the colony's brave leader, Fipsy. Oh, amazing. I've never tried using oils or dry pigments. Um, I want to learn. I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, oh my god, that looks amazing. Um, Alright, let me get this up on... Can I get this up with Streamlabs being fucky? That's the question. Uh, ah! I can! There we go. So this is um, Red's fans Fipsy, Magus Fipsy. Oh man, he looks cool. He's 
He's got servo skulls. He's got mechadendrites. Looks just like it. He's on some kind of snaky tentacle thing. Probably zoomed in a bit too much. Let's zoom that out a bit. Oh, man, amazing. Go there! I will sit on my throne. You do the work. That's very fipsy. I love it. Thank you, Reds fan. Uh, we've got Victor von Volkvan. Donates $20. Thank you, Victor. And he says, Bampera. I'm still stuck in the Vod Goblin pile from last week. So I have some catching up to do. Have you played any of that Fallout New Vegas randomizer yet? It's chaotic, stupid fun. No, I haven't. Um, I never finished New Vegas. My game crashed. My um, save file got corrupted. And I couldn't be asked to start again because I was like so deep into it. And I never went back. Um, so that sounds... Yeah, I should check that out. What's the wackiest thing that's happened? Oh, I guess you're not in chat. Okay, well, if you... If you ever send a message again, let me know. Let me know, like, some kind of goofy adventure you've had or weird thing that's come up. I'd like to hear about it. Um, WP, WBP Lund has donated and says, Just painted some bolt-action Soviet winter soldiers as Valhallen Ice Warrior proxies. Love them watching your stream. That's a good idea. I like that. The Valhallens basically are just winter Soviets. Perfect. You could probably even get, like, some of the, like, gunning crews. You could buy, like, a pack of... Uh, heavy weapon teams just use like the tripods and the heavy weapons and then have like the soviets gunning them as well very cool you should um send me a link when you finish painting them i'd like to see uh kurushishi donates thank you and says hello ben please help me decide if the annihilation deprived engine ade is a cool name for a power source uh that works by preventing antimatter from colliding with matter I'm too deep to tell if it's dumb or not. Yeah, the ADE. The annihilation deprived engine. That sounds pretty cool. How does that generate power? I don't understand how keeping antimatter and matter apart generates power. What's the, like, theory behind that? Oh, Digby's painting some Praetorian Guardsmen in red tunics. Nice. I'm gonna take on Simon Clark's Hawaiian Orcs. Oh, that's awesome. I'd love to see that. Send me some photos, Digby. Looks like some of your crops are ending up in bulk storage instead of the fridge. I want to make sure if that's intentional. I think the only crops that are ending up in the storage are it's this. Oh yeah, karma leaves. They're going to expire. I think because they're not food. They're like a manufacturing thing. I need to... What resources maybe? Uh... Plant matter? Yes. There we go. Thanks for spotting that. That should be fixed soon. He's still working on the sites, focusing on cool names first. Nice. Oh, Studio J7's here. Welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed the raid uh, last week. Thanks for getting in contact. Simon's Orcs are on his Instagram. Fifty Shades Space Wolf Grey. Nice. Yeah, I've seen them before. He posted them on Reddit, I think. They look really cool. What mods are being used? There's a command you can type in. Um, someone will do it for you, I'm sure, if you want to see the mods I'm using. Although I did add a new mod that's not on the list. It's this minimap mod, which is really handy for when enemies attack. You can just see what's going on. <laughs> the raid was a little nuts, but thank you so much. No, man, you're welcome. Sorry, we probably completely overloaded your, like, follow um, notifications. But I'm sure, I'm sure you got over that. What is it called? Also, you were covering the map mod. Oh, yeah. I can't, it's because my Streamlabs is being weird. I can't actually see um, what I'm outputting. There you go. There's the map. Is there a collection on Steam? There is not a collection on Steam. I'm sorry. <laughs> One day all of chat will just be a mod list. <laughs> what is it called? Um, that's a good question. Let me open up Steam and check. Because um, we, then we can add it to the list. Um, actually, I added a lot of mods. 
sorry guys. I added Dub's Mint Minimap. I added Mortar Accuracy, which means the higher your intelligence, your intellectual stat, the more accurate you are with mortars. Which I liked, because at the moment, like, Intel is only good for science. So, something else to do with smart boys. Uh, we got Actung, which apparently makes it easier to control people when they're drafted. We've got Wall Light, Rimkia, and Allow Tool. So most of these are like little quality of life perks. They don't dramatically change the gameplay. Um, I will update the list soon. TM. Uh, right, what's going on? Victor's having a sad wander because he slept in the cold. Well, why did you sleep in the cold, you dingus? It's not cold in the... In the base, it's 21 degrees. That's on you, sir. Victor. Oh, that's annoying. You're our main crafter. So for anyone who's um who's new, just a quick recap. We've got three guys away on missions. So we do have eight guys. The other three will return soon. Uh, we've got Fipsy, who's the Magos leader of the colony. He's very good at building stuff and mining. And he's got the cool um, tech priest engine seer robes. Uh, we've got Flightless Hawk, who's got almost entirely robotic at this point. He's more machine now than man. Um, he's rocking a Skitari helmet, Krieg trench coat, and a shuriken cannon. I want to get away from these Eldar weapons, but at the moment, they're very effective. We need to build some of our own better weapons. Uh, we've got Victor von Volkvan, who's our crafter. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to say, Flightless Hawk is our main farmer. Victor's the crafter, he's got a power sword and the same gear. Astarad, the nude doctor, who won't fight. Um, and Mahon's the animal trainer, in theory, but mainly researcher, um, who's failed to train every animal he's ever come in contact with. He's also rocking this Skatari helmet trench coat combo with a shuriken cannon. Um, we've got some new quests come up. So we're currently doing... We've got War Masters away doing a quest for seven days. We've got Blazing Psycho and Frog Yo-Yo are off. Um, doing some work for someone else. They'll be back in um, three days. We're trying to protect a monument we've built here. Got to keep that safe. And we've got new quests. We've, oh, my God. Three stars. This could be hard. Um, Nimuel is wanting to join us. Uh, she profaned a peace ritual between the Tau and the Tyranids. And now they are both chasing her. She begs for safety and offers to join you at Primary Forge Alpha Sully. If you accept Nimuel, both the Tau and the Tyranids will raid you in a day. Uh, and I can't find out their stats. Should we take this? Three stars. This feels hard. Extreme difficulty. Uh, three of our guys are away as well. We're like half... Half manpower right now. Um, at least we've plugged up that hole. Let's do more. More. More plugging up of holes. Uh, I mean, I've got the two mega turrets. As long as everyone comes in through here, we'll probably be alright. Um... Maybe we can do this. It feels difficult. I'm not sure. We need Victor back online. He's still wandering around like an idiot. This could literally be a wipe if we misjudge this. Uh, finish building the power conduit. We got power yet? Have we now got power? Uh, yeah, that looks like we've got power now. Uh, could you quickly show the list of mods so I can take a screen grab? Oh yeah, sure, mods. Thank you. Thank you for writing that list. Um, 
Yeah, I'll just take a sec. Uh, I'll save this. I'll go to main menu. Mods. There we go. That is the mod list. And then there's just a couple more at the bottom. There we go. Hopefully that was long enough. Uh, I only have five guys left. No, there's three other guys who are out on missions. We do have eight guys. Uh, well, that um, goes. I can I can read more donuts. Uh, Lockar donates twenty five dollars. Lockar, that's super generous. Thank you. And you say I had work things delay me. Uh, so thanks for waiting for me to, before you start. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I did it just for you, Lockar. Um, just keep telling everyone else it was technical problems. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm glad that worked out well for you. Um, Ankal has uh, donated $10. Thank you. And they say, I chatted with friends about death. Apparently, I've chosen my friends well, as they seem to be very firmly grounded and realistic. Not sure if that's what someone suggesting talk with friends had in mind. But I do feel better not being sad. Good. Well, I think that's one of the things about talking with people. Like, you get, you get not only their experiences, but their, their, like, friends and family's experiences. And just knowing that other people feel the same way you do goes a long way towards making you feel less weird about stuff. I'm glad that helped. Uh, Digby donates $14. Thank you, Digby. And they say, ahoy, hoy. My net was funky all yesterday evening. And I'm with Virgin Media as well. So it's not just you at all. Hopefully it improves for you, sir. Well, thank you. Yeah, may we all have good internets. Nothing worse than spotty internet connections. Ugh, I hate it. Um, should we do a poll about whether we should accept this quest or not? What do you guys think? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? Ah, okay. Man, Twitch is being weird today. Question. Um, accept quest question mark. No, you will die. Yes, you can take um, and go. So if you think if you think I should accept the quest to fight the town and the Tyranids, click yes. If you think I should not because it will be bad, press no. Let's find out. You decide. Choose. Because we've got no idea if that new f new friend is even any good. They might be the worst. Uh, what is chat voting for? Oh my god. Chat is very much favouring the yes right now. I still got a spare brain. Yeah, I'm saving that brain. That brain is for this cogitator to improve our research. Speaking of research, we do need to get some research going. Um, what I want is some good Imperial weapons. Let's do that. Where is... Oh, well, 71% think we can handle it. Well, who am I to argue with democracy? I'm going to give it a try. If this is a wipe, we might have to reload. But if it's not a wipe, we will soldier on. Oh, shit. They broke. Oh, shit. We've got another hole in the wall. God, who's cracking through our walls like this? Jeez. Uh, beacon unusable. Four of these must be placed. Oh. Whoops. Okay, well, we'll uninstall that and worry about it later. Um, these turrets feel dependable. They do feel good. Um, but I'm more worried about getting um, getting flanked. You know, maybe our like perimeter wall isn't good enough. Are we out of sandstone blocks? No, we've got loads of sandstone blocks. Why is it not letting us? We're getting. Some weird error messages, to be honest. Um, 
Like, I can't repair the servo skull because it's saying we don't have enough ceramite, right? It needs 100 ceramite. And when I tell someone to fix it, it says, no, can't repair robot. We've only got 75 out of 100 ceramite. But we've got 150 ceramite right here. So something's not right. Um, and now it's telling me I don't have enough bricks to make this bit of wall. But we definitely do. So I don't know what's up. Um, have I got the increased storage mod? I do have the increased storage mod. So everything... I, in fact, I even went to the mod, the Servo Skulls mod maker Steam page. And someone else had the same problem. And the mod author said, you need to use the same stacking mod I do. So I changed which stack mod I used to match his. And it's still not working. Try forbidding and unforbidding the ceramite. Okay. Forbid it for a bit. Um, Mahons has had the same problem fixing his servo skulls. Did you find a solution? I need to recreate the stockpile. I could try that. Um, I said, let's see what. Uh, Nimuel, what's your deal? Nimuel. I guess that is definitely... Because it's lowercase, that must be one of our guys. Ooh, they're an artistic. Plants? Br oh, no, animals, sorry. They do have a bit of plants, though, which is good. We're low on plant people. Bit of construction. They're not very good at shooting, but they're going to get better. And they have some melee skill, too. So, um... Oh, okay, well, they're going to put the helmet on. That's a good start. Um... Let's give them... Have we got any shuriken cannons left? Try out a tail pulse rifle. Or an excellent shuriken catapult. Let's have a quick look at the tail pulse rifle. Um, what's the damage? 15. Ooh, good armor penetration, though. Um, good long range. Let's try it out. Let's just try it out. Equip a pulse carbine and then have like a sidearm gladius. Has everyone else got what they need? Um, we haven't really got any more sidearms. Kind of awkward. Uh, eat the paste. You must eat paste at all times. Um... Okay, that steel wall's done. Is this wall up here done? All right, so we need another uh, bit in there. How are they feeling? What's, oh, God, they've got bad ears. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is... Let's go sign them properly. Uh, Nimuel, you're going to be a firefighter, obviously. You're going you're gonna to be do a lot of growing, mainly, and art. Growing and art are really your your things. Um, okay. Don't know pop-ups. No, they are not working. Streamlabs is being weird. Sorry, dude. But I am still checking them and reading them as I go. Um, Uh, have I played Gladius at all? I have. I played it when it first came out. Um, it was like a nice idea. I liked the, the concept, but I just didn't... I didn't really love it. I just kind of felt like something was missing and I was just clicking. I didn't feel... It felt very grindy, the combat. I don't know. Maybe I was... Maybe something. I don't know. Couldn't put my finger on it. Just wasn't enjoying it. Um, which is weird because, you know, theoretically, that should be a cool game. Oh, a lot of people in chat felt the same way as well. Hmm. Um, what are we doing? Bulk goods trader. What do we want to buy? Uh, don't know. Probably get rid of that elephant leather. 37 is not enough to make anything. Fox fur, not enough. Eldar skin. Uh, gross. 
Um, God, we're nearly out of steel. We should buy a shit ton of steel. And we can sell some of this uranium. Probably don't need that much. Uh, I've got loads of plast steel. Uh, we should install a lot of these things. Get rid of those broken pants. Sure. Um, oh, we have to sell something else just to make the money up. Okay. Um, sell like a gold. Cool. That'll do. If you're looking for a robust storage mod that feels less cheaty than just making stockpiles better, you suggest LWM's Deep Storage. Uh, it's okay, I can see the link you sent. Even when the bot cancels a message, um, I still get to see it. Okay, I will put this on my list of mods to check out. Thank you, dude. Um, Right, why are you so sad, Nimuel? What's your beef? This shivering? Oh, shit, this room is cold. I didn't realise. The rest of the base is fine, but the workroom is cold. Why is it suddenly so cold? Oh, I guess it's just turned winter. Um, Hypothermia, jeez. Already? Uh, she's naturally upbeat about her situation. Um, but I'm happy if the bedroom is too impressive. Okay. Feels alienated and misunderstood by other human beings. Constant move debuff. Constant mood debuff. But a chance to gain creativity. Jeez. Okay. Um, why are you looking at corpses? Where did you go? Uh, which bedroom is yours, by the way? Are you sad about this? Uh, is that too pretty for you? I don't know. Right, we're going to have to warm up warm up the workroom. Um, one heat is probably not going to be enough. I sent a don't know while Streamlabs was being weird. Can you tell me if it went through? Um, I can have a look. Yes, I can see it. I will try and catch up. Sorry, I'm behind. Um, uh, Master J Speed donates. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Transport pod crash. It's a friend. Go get him. Um, Master J Speed, I uh, hope you're well. I've escaped the Vodgoblin Goblin path for a week, really enjoying RimWorld Adventures while playing through my own modded save. Chump me up and recycle my brain for a cogitator! <laughs> Thank you, Master J Speed. Looks like we may have a new brain that's just been delivered to us. What happened? Oh, they got a... Oh, shit. They just recovered immediately. Um, Should we just go get them? Who wants to get him? Uh, who's, who's quick? Because it's really far away. Uh, Fipsy could go get him, couldn't they? Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Master J Speed. Uh, Bailey of Earth donates and says, Ben, to uh, Chaos! Just adding my name to the list and wishing you good health. Have a really fun time in the Warhammer stream last night. Also, for the purpose of pronouns, I made they slash her. Also, ah, good to know. I will try and remember that. I'm very sorry if I if I slip. 
Um, right, stun. And stab. Please? Why are you no stabbing? Throw spear. Chonk! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Oops! Um, what the hell happened? Fipsy used stun. Error, left hemisphere. Perished. Oh my god, I think I just threw that spear through their brain. Yeah, left hemisphere destroyed. Jeez. Just half their brain got ripped out. Oof. That's the bit we wanted. That's like the only bit... That was the important part, Fipsy. Anywhere but the brain. Oh, man. Well, there might still be other bits we can steal. Check the end of the spear. Maybe it's still on there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. Maybe we'll get a liver or something. Oof. That's a paddling. <laughs> Uh, John Can subscribed. Thank you, John Can. Um, Spencer Wills resubbed and says, "Keep up the amazing, amazing work." I'm not usually one for streams, but I love watching your Warhammer streams with Tom, and it's always great to see you in videos. Thank you, Spencer Will. I appreciate that. Um, as Az Azurishi just resub. I uh, just used their Twitch Prime. Thank you, Zero the Death resubs. Thank you. Hello, Ben. Hello, Zero. Chiron subs. Kralak has subbed. And says, back at it again on the rim. Thank you, dude. Divos subs, thank you. Rat Goblinoid, cheers 100 bits, thank you. Uh, right, what just happened? Major break risk. Victor, Victor, you just, Victor, you literally just stopped having a paddy. How are you already a major? Oh, oh no, no, okay, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Um. Wow. Nimuel, already just... Just gonna smoke a joint and play the harp. You're gonna fit in right, right good. Well, f hawk, fly this hawk. What are you doing? They're trying to watch telly. Dangus. Uh, right, Astrad. It's chopping time. Chop, chop, chop. Come on, can you do it? Let's see what we get. I wonder if it can still give us a brain. I wonder if the mod's that good. God, it takes a long time. It's the big old... Whoa! We did get a brain! <laughs> we didn't deserve that. That's an undeserved brain. I guess... You know, half a brain's okay. That's all you need for a cogitator. Half a brain is enough for a cogitator, turns out. We've got a kidney. We've got a lung, a kidney, a heart, a lung. This is a big a liver. We've got all the bits. We've never had a full um, full collection of bits before. It's very good. Found the rest on the spear. <laughs> I mean, Flightless Hawks have only got half a brain, and he's working, look. He's lost half his brain. So, living living proof. Uh, just so you know, Imperial Medkits are like Glitter World Medicine. That is good to know. I'm still quite a long way off Imperial Medkits. But we'll try. Uh, right, the armor fabricator can be turned off. We're not using that right now. Um, where's my hands? Oh. Paste party in the kitchen. Whoop, whoop. Right, Mahons, I want you to finish that trench coat for um, Nimuel. They need armor. Get that done. A herbal med still okay. Uh, they spoil in two and a half years. I think, I think we'll be all right. Right, where did that thing go? It literally just made it. 
Well, they'll figure it out, won't they? Let's assign them the um, the worker worker clothes. There we go. Right. Okay. The calm before the storm. Um. We need some more rocks to make rock creeks. Someone, please bring me rocks. What else do we need? Someone needs to finish that wall at some point. This wall's done at least. Um, that wall got done. Hmm. Uh, right, let me read some donuts while we wait for the storm to hit. Where do we get to? Um, D, D. Muck Rogers says, Hi, Ben. Uh, enjoying the Rim Ventures. I've been spending the last few weeks kitbashing some renegade militia together while watching your streams. I'd love your opinion on them. Well, let's check them out. Let's check them out. Uh, here we go. Oh, man, I like... Oh, no. I like the Beastman, Beastman look. Oh, he's great. Yeah, mutant... Mutant traitor guard militia kind of lost on the damned vibes. Oh, that's really cool. What parts have you used? You must have had like a few different kits. Good bases too. That looks great. We've even got a bit of goblin green in there. Hidden. Secret goblin green. It's the best kind. Yeah, that's very cool, man. I like it. Good gerb. I want to see the whole like squad or army when they're done. Show me more. Dark Emperor, he's their prime. Thank you very much. I guess they're not in chat right now. No reply. But thank you, dude. Um, Setsuo has uh, donated $3. Thank you. It says, Hi, Ben. I did uh, the base of the model I showed you last time. <laughs> and I think I've done my penitent crusade for the Emperor. Also, my friend found cheap brushes that I feel perform way better than brown brushes. Yay. Oh, that's cool. Rats on your sneaky, cheapy brushes. Let me see the picture. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Check it out. Setsuo's done the base. And it just, that's it, man. The whole model just looks so much more finished now. Love it. Good job. Very cool. Can't see my cam anymore. Can you? I'm right here. I, I, I turn the camera off when I'm looking at models. Because, you know, I get in the way of the model. Um, What's this? A new quest. Psychic Insanity Lance. Uh, nearby. There's an unknown threat. I don't need a Psychic Insanity Lance. They're kind of shit, aren't they? Um, there's a long range. Requires line of sight. Makes someone go crazy. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. Where is it? Is it nearby? How long a trip is this? Three days there and back. That's quite a lot of packaged meals. Oh, good in sieges. That's a good point. Yeah, if you've got like a mortar squad bombing you and you just turn them crazy and make them all fight each other. That's a good point. That's handy for something like that. Um, it's, raw, oh, it's a long trip. I'm a bit worried about it. Well, I guess it, we'll see. We'll see if we survive the onslaught that's coming soon. We've got 24 days to do it. So we'll see. When everyone's back, when we've got eight people again. Um... 
We could, we could cook some more dinners. See how that goes. Right, we should probably build more turrets. Speaking of... Speaking of threats. Uh, we've got like half a day. Oh my god, Twin Link last. I don't know, we don't have enough components for any of these. Um, we can have a pintle mounted heavy bolter. That'd be pretty cool. What's that? It's just a knife. Right. Um, What do we need for this? More components, that's it. Why aren't we making these? Ceramite, silver, and components. Oh, we don't have enough silver! Oh, shit, I forgot we needed silver for those. Oh, no. Okay, we can't build the cogitator for a while then until we get some silver. Tricky. Starvation? Oh, well, he's eating now. Okay. Now it's saying we've got 64 ceramite. Very strange. Did we finish making the jumpsuit? Yeah, we did. Okay. Turn the table off then. Um, Nimuel's got the uniform. Trench coat and Skatari face. No trousers. Hmm. A bit worrying. Uh, didn't I make them a jumpsuit? I thought I did. Turn it back on. Um, apparently that stack of 151 might be re refined. It's not refined. This is raw ceramite, and this needs raw ceramite. It's definitely, that's not it's not the problem. Okay, they're coming. They come. They come now. Okay, everyone. Panic stations. Um, I need you to go. Everyone in lockdown. Robots in lockdown. Animals in lockdown. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Um, apparently the jumpsuit's near the middle. Oh, there it is. You're right. Thank you. There you are. Put on that jumpsuit. And cancel this now. Um, okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. Where do they come from? The north? Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> um what have we got? We got three gene stealers. We got eleven gene stealers? What? Maybe it means hormigants. Eleven hormigants, four termigants, three gene stealers, a brood lord, two brood lords, a tyrannocyte. Oh my fucking god. Okay, the, this this is the end, I think. I, I, this might be the end. Um, do we use the bombard? Well, yeah, we've got to use the bombardment, haven't we? In this case, for the service girl, what you need to do is go into dev mode, then god mode, delete the materials it would cost to remake the service girl, and then rebuild the service girl that way. Um, what? Um, I don't understand. Why would deleting the materials make it work? Uh, did I watch Spiff's not cheaty ways to make vases? I have not, actually. I watched, like, half of the video, and then I never got around to finishing it. I'm sorry. That's bad. That's bad for retention. But, um... I mean, really, the best way to make a base is to make it in a mountain. 
because then they never tunnel through. But I, I wanted to do something different. I've never tried making a base in the open before. And it does feel a bit cheaty to like abuse, abuse bad pathfinding. I wanted to try and do it legit, if I can. But maybe I can't. Maybe I'm too bad at game. Um, oh, he means delete the materials and then make a new server tour. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We'll try it after this raid. Um, okay, they're just hanging out. Should we send Fipsy to Newcom? Um, what's the range on this thing? Okay, it's nearly in range. Um, do you think he can get away if they chase him? Well, if they ch when they chase him. Let's try it out. For the Emperor! Orbital Bombardment is go! Oh my god, it is super effective! Now run! Run, Fipsy! Oh my god. That's very good. Orbital strike for the win. Holy moly. I did not expect it to be that effective. Um, fucking oof. Okay. But we've probably had too much fun with that now. I think, I think it has to be put away for a little bit. Um, it, it's too good. Um, boop. Only in case of emergencies, break glass now, I think. Fuck me. Tyranid, there were some Tyranid warriors in there as well. Oh my god. So what have we got left? Just like two Hormigants. Maybe without Synapse, they're just going to be, be terrible. <laughs> Why? Why shouldn't we have it? It came to me. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be a one use thing. Yeah, it's bugged. For some reason, it's not disappearing after I use it. Um, I think maybe we leave it at that. We've had our fun with it. We're going to stop. Stop using the cheese laser. It's too good. It's just too good. An eclipse. Oh, dear. That's bad. We got quite a lot of solar panel these days. Um, no, I got plenty of batteries. We'll be fine. Are these hormigans not going to attack. Oh, here we go. Wham. All right, the poor last little hormigan. It's bleeding to death. It's lost a foot, a hand, and an arm. Jeez. <laughs> Poor little bugger. Look at him go. He's bleeding everywhere. <laughs> the sun laser drained the sun's battery. <laughs> That's why there's an eclipse. We just put all the full power of the sun into that laser beam. Oof. Victor's idle. Victor should not be idle. Victor should be making imperial components. Oh, we can't, can he? Because we're out of silver. Damn. Um, we should do some mining then, I guess. Um, where was all that steel? I did see some earlier. Up here. Oh, that'll do. Um, clearly you need to build a shrine for the orbital bombardment laser where it should only be opened in times of great need <gasps> maybe it should go in here that's what this should be uh, let's do it uh, right 
Fipsy. Carry it. Oh, hang on. Drop your spear. Right. Then walk over here. And then drop it. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Uh... There we go. The shrine of the laser. Need to put some lights in here. Um, glory, the light of the Emperor's glory lives here. What are these wall lights like? Let's try that. Oh man, uh, Ren just subscribed. Thank you. It says good to hear. Even if I only ever manage to catch half a stream a week, man, I'm glad to have you here. Welcome. Got a new quest available. Um, their caravans have been raided. They want us to destroy the camp, eliminating all enemies and turrets. There's a bandit camp with six tribes people. Um. Wow. 226 hyperweave. Pretty good loot. Um, we can go kill six tribes people. That'd be easy enough. I'll do that. I'll take some. I'll take some hyperweave. Won't the tail still come? They will. Um, we're gonna beat the tail first before we go do that mission. There we go. Uh, is that not in range for power? Does this invalidate the the monument? Um, it does invalidate the monument. Oh, what? That's lame. Um, which one is it? Large assembly. It doesn't say it's failing. Um, it just says if any piece is destroyed. It's on the right of the screen. Oh, wow. Okay, you're right. Shit. Okay, thanks, guys. Um, oh, boo. Uh, okay, we'll deconstruct. Oh, I don't get to build things very often. I guess we can do it after the quest is finished. Um, hmm. So I need to find like this bit of wire. Deconstruct that. This bit of wire. Deconstruct that. Is that all the wire? Yeah. Okay, does the stockpile count? Or is it just the building bits? Ah, oh, the dog's helping. Very good. Okay, yeah, that did it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Uh, Ravenous Jaeger just subscribed. Thank you, Ravenous Jaeger. Uh, right, we've got some more donos in. I'm sorry the dono um, like announcer is broken. I am still getting them. They're just not popping up on screen for some reason. Um, but I'm going to read them. Don't worry, we'll get there. Uh, Jimmy Space donated and says, Happy Rim Day. I hope you're not planning on too much heresy today. Anyway, here's a quick sneak peek of some fire warriors from a phone camera. Um, 
Hopefully sharing will give me more motivation to paint the bases. Oh my god. Are you about to share unpainted bases with me? You animal. You absolute monster. They're allowed in. Um, there we go. That'll hopefully give everyone some jobs to do. Uh, thank you, Jimmy Space. Let me let me have a look at this link. Go, uh, Jimmy Space's glorious towel. You got the goblin green on the model instead of on the base. That's the wrong way round. Jimmy Space. <laughs> oh man, my um, I did. I once did a, a squad of towel fire warriors like ten years ago, um, and I did grey and green too. Slightly different shade, but similar. Nice man. Keep it up. Get the whole squad done. Uh, Nev Bao has donated as well and they say um, I was about to settle down and do some uni work when I got the notification that you were streaming and now I can't concentrate so take my money <laughs> I shall thank you Nev Bao um, Lund has donated again and says here's the first few I know they don't look great but I only got them this morning and I want to try the colour thank you for always being so supportive with all the models that you were sent oh you're welcome sir like, everyone's got different levels of skill and different amounts of practice and experience. And to be honest, a, paint, a model painted, no matter how it's painted, is always better than an unpainted model. In my opinion. So just keep keep on keeping on. Keep doing it. You'll only get better the more you could do. Uh, so this is Lund's uh, Valhallen Soviet Boys. Looking nice. I tell you a tip, actually, for the bases. If you're going to use the um, the cracked earth paint, I I paint the base um, like a brown, just a normal brown color first, and then when that's dry, I put the cracked paint over the top. Um, maybe even a darker brown than this, so that you can see it. Like, um, let's have a look. Oh, hang on, something's happened in the game. Pause, pause game. Um, I've got an example, like right here, actually. Um, Is this going to come up on camera? Maybe I full screen it. Can you see? It's not really focusing. Let me get my hand up behind it. No, that's just putting a shadow on it. Um, there we go. So there's a slightly darker brown underneath. No, it's just not focusing. Um, but you get the idea. That way. It just kind of looks like there's a shadow under the cracked earth. You can do all sorts of different colours, but doing like a white like you've got there looks a bit weird. It's just a tiny little tip. I think it will really help. Um, but thank you, sir. <laughs> um thing about these models is they are 28 mil scale rather than 28 mil heroic so i think they would be pretty good fighting alongside my sister's battle yeah i, li I like the smaller scale humans to be honest um like true scale 28 mil is smaller than games workshop scale but it means that if you have those guard they look that's the size guard would be compared to someone in power armor or a space marine or an orc or whatever the games workshop imperial guard are like too big in my opinion um we've got a boom rat a boom rat has been tamed we need to give him a name. Uh, let's roll the dice. Spin the wheel. Boom rat shall be... It's broken. Try again. Generate. Number 13. Number 13 is Great Alexander. Welcome, Great Alexander. You are a boom rat. You need to be assigned to the animal zone. Welcome. They say, I uh, just wanted to say hi. I uh, haven't been able to catch on Wednesday stream for a while. Back to the pile. Well, thank you for your generous donor, Great Alexander. Glad I could include you. I think you may not live very long, but you're going to go out with a bang. 
you know? At some point, when things get desperate, we will send you into charge into the enemy, and you'll explode, and you will martyr yourself for the Emperor, and it will be glorious. Your glory in waiting, sir. You're like a bloto. <laughs> Bloke death in Rimworld. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking at here. Did we eat up all those rocks already? Holy shit. How much rock creep have we got? Oh, we've got quite a lot of rock creep. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's get some more rocks. Drop him into our forest. Also, don't forget about the servo skull. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So let's try and fix this servo skull. Um... Uh, I've never tried debug mode before. I don't know how this works. Um, options. Uh, where is it? Where's the dev console? Am I being blind? Development mode. There it is. Okay. Um, then what do I do? Oh, wow, I, I never knew you could right-click and get the power grid up. That's amazing. Um, top of the screen, okay. Um, debug options menu, logs, open the inspector, quick start settings, god mode. Okay, god mode is on. Um, reset destroyed robot. Now what? Well, I don't know how God Mode works. Right click, open, closes whatever panel you had last open. Ah, okay. Okay, that's cool. Um, quick start settings? Nope. Deconstruct it and put a new one down. Well, I can't. I can't just put. They, they don't exist in the menu. I have to craft them. Um. So that I can't just put one down. I can spawn it in, but how? I <laughs> how do I? I'd never used God mode before. How do I just spawn one in? There's no button for it. Does anyone actually know what I need to do? Press slash to open the spawn menu. Oh, wow. Okay. I never would have found that on my own. Um, spawn weapon. Stack. Place. St God. Uh, oh, my God. There's so much fucking stuff. Um... Servo skull. Is this all alphabetical? No. No, of course it's not. Why would it be alphabetical? Um. Servo arm? Nope. No. Nope. Ah. Servo skull T one base station. Um. Is that the one? Okay. God mode off. Uh, oh no, I need still need God mode on to delete stuff, don't I? Um, so how do I delete stuff? I need to get rid of a hundred ceramite. That didn't work. 
infantry. Uh, fourth icon on the left. Okay, and then I need to add 50 ceramite. Uh, ceramite. Boop. Boop. Aha! We did it! Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, uh, it should have been 51. Fuck it. Um, I don't mind losing a ceramite. That's fine. Um, right then. Now. Where has it gone? Someone moved it. Oh, there, there it is. Reinstall to there. Yeah, it was just two stacks of 25, guys. Like, don't worry. I haven't cheated in a million things. Okay, and then activate. Who needs a name? Now, who was it before? God, my brain's failed me. Who was the servo skull called, named after? It was a very generous big dono person whose name has escaped me. Um... Epodax, that's the one. Thank you. What? Why is that? It's being weird. Um, rename. No, that's wrong one. Rename this guy. Why is it not deleting it? Um, that's weird. I can't type. Shit, Epodax, you are. Your name will not be taken. Huh, that's very strange. God, this is the buggiest mod in the world. Try reloading. You never know. Yeah, I might just fix it. I might just fix it. That's right. We've got some donuts to read while we wait. Um, we got Ball of Strings. Donated $5. Thank you. It says, best part yet. Another renovation is that first I use work boots at work for seven to eight hours a day. Then I get home and get to use the same boots for six hours as my apartment is covered in concrete dust and gravel now because cheapest... Workers give no fucks. Oof. Big heavy boots all day. That's no fun. Sorry about that, dude. Hopefully it's all going to be worth it once your renovation's sorted out. Um, oof. Sorry, dude. You're going to be okay. Um, History Gamer. History Garner, sorry. Says, I know you probably have already done a recap, but I just joined. What is going on? Oof. That was like 45 minutes ago. Sorry, History Garner. Um... I did do a recap. Um, I guess either you've already left because it took me so long to reply or um, uh, or you've already figured out what's going on. I hope. Uh, but the long story short, we're building an Admech Adeptus Mechanicus uh, forge planet. Um, we've got a whole bunch of guys. We've given them all like proper Admech gear. We've all got like Skatari hats and shit. Um, we're about to get attacked by the Tau. But we've got a pretty good kill box. Um, so we should be alright. And then we're going to start building... Soon we're going to build this uh, cogitator. Which will let us research heavier weapons. And we'll get our guys all kitted out with proper... Like radium carbines and neutron blasters. And all kinds of crazy shit. Um, 
That's basically what's going on. We're trying to rename this service goal to be epidex. Uh, nope. That's fucking weird. Uh, I'll try. I'll fix that off. Fix that off camera, I guess somehow. Uh, but first, we need silver. That's what we need. Desperate. Oh, we look. Blazing Psycho came back, and uh, Fog Yo Yo came back. We're even stronger now. That means we can probably start cooking. Let's get more packaged survival meals on the go for when we do like a big, a big adventure. Where are you going, Blazing Psycho? Are you taking the chunks? Okay. Right, that cable wall is finished at least. Um, oh shit, look, they knocked out a bit of wall there. We got any granite? Nope, it's just going to look like shit. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we need more walls. I just looked at the Oxcost Reddit and it seems like somebody tried to do what you and Tom's needed for Kremlo and it's fucking cursed. Oh my god. But we didn't tell them to do a cursed thing. Let's have a look. Ah, we completed the large assembly. Amazing. The monument is finished. Um. <laughs> I, I think they misunderstood our instructions. We just said have a skink chieftain in the Norse faction. We didn't say make an absolute crime against nature. Look what they've done, the mad mad lads. Um, that's not Kremlo. That's not Kremlo at all. Definitely came from space though, didn't it? Holy moly. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it is. Ball uh, of String says, instead of ripping out the old stuff, the workers have trapped pieces under new stuff, which is going to be a fucking nightmare to try and fix whenever the apartment gets proper surface work done. It's so stupid. Oh my god, yeah, I've had some experience with, like, proper corner cutting tradespeople who give no shits. That is super annoying. Sorry my dude. Hopefully it will get sorted out soon. Um Minor break risk. Victor. Why Victor sad again? Why are you always being so sad, Victor? Hungry, ugly, dark, wet. Alright, well, you'll feel better in a minute, I'm sure. Let's get inside, dude. How are we going to get some silver to progress? Can I ask a trade caravan to come? Are we friends with anyone? Uh, we're friends with the Cadians. Go ring the Cadians. Uh, oh. We're not friends enough with them to send a caravan. Fuck. Alright. Um, how far away are they? Can we travel? What's this? Bandit camp. Oh, that's the one with six enemies. Okay, we'll take this out after the tower attack. Then we'll go get this one. How long does it take to get to Cadia? Two days. <laughs> Cyrus soon just did a 24 hour stream. Oh my god. That Kremlo 11 boy. What a, what a guy. Body parts sell, sell for a ton. I know they do, but no one's coming to, come to buy them. Ooh, look at this. Nimuel's made an excellent large statue. Um, the work portrays Astarad, 
Huddled in the shade of a river covered in sweat, two dying panthers lay on the ground. This representation refers to Astrad getting heat stroke. <laughs> Overcoming heat stroke was the same as defeating panthers, apparently. Sure. Sure it was. Oh, Flyers Hawk's better at shooting. That's good. Uh, all right, what, what's next? While we wait for silver, we need something constructive to be doing. Um, let's burn all the tainted April. That'll be good. Clean up this inventory a bit. Um, wow, the Epodax is just a machine. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is frustrating. We're bottlenecked. Clearly need more glorious light of the Emperor in here. Um... All right, we can make this shrine now. Oh, Fipsy is overdosing. Fipsy, what the hell? Um, he's taking crack. Yow yow, yow yo. Fipsy, you didn't need to take the crack, my dude. Come on then, Asterad. Get your new doctor eating ways on him. Um, cold snap. Shit. Okay, well. Uh, harvest the lot then. Oh, this is tainted. Why isn't he burning this tainted thing? Burn any tainted clothes. That's what I want. Has he been treated? I guess so. Hopefully it gets better before the attack comes. You have to say you love that play in TTT, Bon. What play? What TTT play do you mean? The take too much crack and pass out play. It's not the best one. Right, I'm going to forbid. Forbid the crack. No cracking except under explicit orders. Um. Oh, it looks like he's feeling better now. Uh, you dropped your spear though, Fipsy. Where's your spear gone? There it is. Admin abuse play? Or admin abuse? Is it gonna get is it gonna be hot enough in, indoors? No. Everything's getting cold. Uh okay, let's get some more heaters. <laughs> Cracking down on the drug problem. <laughs> from the start. Which one was today's TTT? Sorry, we record a lot of it. It kind of all blurs, blurs a bit. Um, the Return of the Fire Spirit. <laughs> That's a good one. I like the Fire Spirit. Blazing Psycho, what are you doing? Oh, have we not got a bed for him? Oh, no. Um, you can stay in the guest quarters for now. Blazing Psycho. God, we need to make another bedroom. Shit. Uh, someone said you may have burnt untainted clothes. Oh no, did I? Well, I've said, do not allow clean. Allow tainted. That should be fine. Hmm. 
but they're not still not burning these tainted clothes for some reason. Not sure why. Guess because they're all modded. Yeah. Annoying. We're never going to get rid of that. Um. Let's have a stockpile zone over here that only accepts tainted clothes. Nope, that's not an option. Okay. Uh, so, no food, no manufactured, no plants, uh, no items, no weapons. Uh, and all clothes, no buildings. Right, so that's only clothes. And we're going to not allow clean clothes. That should do it. Is this going to work? So, yeah, it's working. Okay, I don't know why they wouldn't be burned, but that's good. And then, Fipsy, the time has come. Retrieve the sacred artifact. Ah, ah, ah. Perform the ritual. And destroy these... Unsightly garments in the name of the Bemperor. Can blammo. Good job. Good job, Fipsy. G good use of orbital lasers. <laughs> That's what they're here for. <laughs> <sighs> They were just annoying me. They were clocking up my storage, looking rubbish, making me sad. They had to go. Um, there we go. <laughs> Sun's going to run out of juice at this rate. Oh my god, you're not wrong. Why is Prosog so slow? Has he always been that slow? Poor old Prosog. Uh, right, what's next? Let's get, like, this installed. Let's, like, tidy up. Uh, we need to get that tech print installed. We need all these organs installed. Um, what kind of fancy organs have we got? Got a power claw. Got a drill arm. Uh, we've got an immuno-enhancer. Armor skin gland. Let's just get all this shit installed. Um... Who are my melee boys? Well, first of all, the doctor. Doctor needs the immuno enhancer, I think. Because I don't want them getting sick. Um, install. Immuno enhancer. Perfect. And then when the doctor's healed, they can do the other, other ones. Who's my next best doctor? It's Victor. Are you okay, Victor? Yeah, you look fine. Go. Go give him the Immuno Enhancer. You can't wait for when an invader picks up the laser and nukes the base. That will never happen. It will never happen. It's too... It's too sanctified. Okay, installed. Very good. Alright, what's next? Uh, armor skin gland. Who's like a tanky boy? Who's like my main melee guy? It's probably Victor, isn't it? Uh, Victor and Blazing Psycho are the two melee guys. Blazing Psycho is also good at shooting. So let's give Victor... Oh god, he's already got the stone skin gland. And a healing enhancer. Can he have an armor skin too? Can he be the toughest guy in town? Uh, 
Nature Analyzer, Psychic Harmonizer, Sensitizer, Claw, Claw, Denture. That doesn't look like he can. Um, it does slow them down. They're 10% slower. Uh, okay, who else is a melee guy then? Literally, everyone else has got a gun. Let's give it to Fipsy then, since he's the king. Uh, door armor skin plant. There we go. Aster, are you feeling okay? Still woozy. Don't do surgery when you're feeling woozy, to be honest. That seems like a bad idea. Um, let's get Victor to do it. Alright, what else we got? Uh, power claw, drill arm. What's the actual... De there must be a downside to having a power claw, right? Slows you down. It doesn't... I mean, you could still, what, like, do stuff with your hands? It doesn't, like, reduce your... Hmm. Wow. Is it actually any good? 33% armor penetration, 11 damage per second. Let's compare it to what he's already got. Well. Oh my god. What is this? It's just 27 boom rats. Just a casual 27 boom rat attack. Fuck me. Okay. Sure. Um Yeah, I'm sorry. The time has come, sir. Um, Great Alexander, we need you. Um, new area. Get get up here. Uh, robots, stay indoors. Dog, Fradvan, indoors. Um, come on, we need these doors to shut. We need these doors to shut, guys. They're in! They got them in! Oh, but Numuel had a Gladius. Sidearm, immediate. No, no, shut the door, shut the door! God, everyone needs to kill that damn boom rat. Oh no, it's corpse is blocking the door. Oh my god. Okay. Um Fall back. Fall back. Okay, this is this is real bad, guys. Um Please no, please no. Oh, they're into the they're into the hospital. No. Um. Oh my god. All right, Victor, lead the charge, sir. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Absolute disaster. God, the magazine's going to blow in a minute. Please. Please. Um. God, everyone's on fire. Um, Put the fires out, guys. Put the fires out. Um. Mahon's still on fire. Can you... 
Well, the servant. Ah! It's the corpses blocking the doors. This is an absolute disaster. Um. God. They won't. Yeah, because when they're on fire, they just run around like idiots. I can't stop them from. from being on fire. Jeez. Um. Okay, Victor's recovered. Oh. Please. Oh, Froyo. Oh my god. I've just, I've lost all control. It's just, everyone's running around with like a headless chicken. And just endless boom rats are exploding. Everything's on fire. This is madness. Okay, Victor and Mahons are ready. Shit me. Okay, is that all of them? Are they all down? Um. If we've killed them all, then we can tell everyone to just put out fires. Hopefully. Just put out the fires, guys. Oh no, Froyo! <gasps> put out the fires. Rescue. Please. Oh my god, he's really on fire. Um. Oh shit. Blazing Psycho can't get through the door. Um. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just put these fires out. Put them out real fast. Okay. Foggyo. Rescue him. Please. Save the masterwork minigun. Ah! Um. Astrad. Medical treatment required. No one's dead yet. Um, area one can be removed. Alexander the Boom Rat did not help. Um, just want to throw that out there. Did not help at all. I thought he was going like, to intercept them. Cause a chain reaction before it got like too too spooky. Okay, how bad is it? Flightless Hawk. Flightless Hawk has been burned multiple times. Um, Nimuel burned a lot. Froyo burned, burned and scratched. Oh my god. So many burns. Tense. I'm really surprised no one died there. Um. Oh, of course we are infected. Nimuel. Nimuel got infected. Uh. Right, Astrad. Busy boy. Uh. Like everyone's actually, no one needs treating now at least. Look who just subbed. <laughs> Boom Rat just subbed. <laughs> thank you, Boom Rat. <laughs> oh, is that, is that to say thank you or sorry or something? Um. Wow. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Slurry McCurry, for using your Prime. Ankcon the Black, resub for seven months. Ravenous Jaeger. I think I've read that one out already, but thank you. Um, oh, well, maybe all's forgiven then. If you're going to sub, 
well, I can't really complain. Um, we need. We got new lovers. Mahons has wooed Flightless Hawk by talking about his own cooking skill. Flightless Hawk became aroused and agreed to become Mahon's lover. Oh my. Okay. Well, that actually solves our bedroom situation. Um, perfect. Now we've got a spare bedroom. We can give this to Blazing Psycho. Um, perfect. How is Mohanza's cooking? Was it all lies? <gasps> Mohanza, you, you founded this relationship on lies. You're the worst cook in the colony. Um, They're going to find out, dude. They're going to find out. <laughs> but you know what? Flightless Hawk is literally missing half of their brain. So I guess they'll believe anything. <laughs> oh my god just oh you've just duped an idiot into bed Mons. congratulations ah warmaster's returned he's like what's up guys why is everything fucked <laughs> hang on did warmaster have a helmet on oh man we're gonna make a new helmet um, and a new jumpsuit, maybe? Yeah. New jumpsuit, new trench coat. Um, duck. Uh, so Warmaster joined at the end of the last stream, but then went off to do a job. So they're, they're all right. They're good at crafting. That's about it. Uh, how much can a boom rat rat... How much boom can a boom rat boom if a boom rat did go boom? It's a good question, Psychotic Insomniac. One that we may never have the answer to. Um, okay, the cold snap is hitting now. Let's just save what we can. Well, I guess about this much boom. All got fixed up pretty quick though, didn't it? What's my favourite Yogscast meme? Uh, Kremlo came from space. It's clearly the superior meme. How do I set up my work tab? Like this. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Um, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, it's been applied. Okay. Warmaster is unhappy being nude. That's fair enough. I've queued up a production. We'll get you some clothes soon. Um. Yeah, are those Tau ever going to come? I'm starting to think the Tau ain't coming. The Tau heard about the glorious orbital strike and now they're scared. That's what I think. the gene stealers were the towel <laughs> what if what if um yeah the quest is gone i guess they're not coming well maybe we can go do our own quest now then we can go beat up um beat up those nerds who've got all our hyperweave or whatever it was Uh, the Ronaldo says Tao saw it on f saw it on fire and decided they weren't gonna gonna do anything worse. Yeah, maybe they thought the whole base got exploded. How do I paint camera pattern on uniform? Um, depends what camera pattern you're trying to do. Us. Whoa! I've got another an unexploded boom rat just finally popped and is burning posog. Can someone deal with that, please? 
Oh, we can't. We can't put him out. Let's turn him off then. Can't. There we go. Okay. Good job. Good job. Um. Can we repair him? Let's mark him for repairs. Jimmy Space is broken too. Can we repair him? Hmm. Maybe. So yeah, with um, camo patterns, um, it's really hard to explain without showing you. Like, talking about painting advice on on stream is, is always tricky. Um, card snap's over. Wow, that was quick. Uh, helmet complete. Very good. I recommend uh, they find some, some tutorials on YouTube, to be honest. They'll be infinitely better than anything I can suggest. And you'll be able to see what actually what they're doing. Um, that Skatari helmet was a masterwork. Wow, Warmaster. You're very lucky. Got the best helmet in town. Uh, and you got the jump skin and the coat, trench coat. Perfect. You're in uniform. Welcome. Um, a rogue trader. Oh, perfect. Finally. We need the money. Give us money. Uh, we can sell these auto guns. Excellent. We can sell this shit chainsaw. We've got three brains. When do we get three brains? I'll get rid of one of them. Um, stolen jean seed. Gross. 17 grand. It's <whistles> a lot of grand. Um, what else can we sell? That's literally it. Well, that's enough to keep us going. Bandai Nanzai, just subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, Peter Hardy, subscribed with their Prime. Thank you. Um, Bat Sedlich, subscribed. Thank you. Let me uh, get up to speed with my donos. Uh, Ciro the Death donates. Says, ready to serve. Thank you, Ciro. Uh, oh, we've got a few, actually. I'm really behind. Sorry, guys. There's been a lot going on. Um, let's put this on like two speed. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, do I want to do this? You want us to kill 11 cougars. We could do that. We can kill 11 cougars. Um, masterwork robe. It's like calm. I've already got one of those. We don't really need it. Uh, we could take, we could take the 900 bucks though. Let's do it. Let's kill some cougs. Uh, what do we get to? Wolf Lord Lewis says, Ben, I won't be here long as I have a headache. No models this time, unfortunately. I started a new mountain base colony and I have four MG42s guarding my front and only entrance. I have Trenches mod that adds MG08-15 to MG42s. Oh, that sounds fun. I've done the mountain base a few times. That's why I'm trying something different this time. But man, have fun. Uh, I hope your headache goes away too soon as well. That sucks. Headaches are the worst. Uh, Grandma to a potato donates and says, Hi Ben, I have an animated TV show young Ben may enjoy. It's called Pat and Matt. You can easily find all the episodes on YouTube. It follows two guys doing DIY badly. That sounds fun. Let me, let me Google it. Pat and Matt. Uh, oh, it's like... Czech or something? I didn't recognise that language. Cool. I'll check it out. Thanks for the tip. Um, T Dark Emperor donates and says, Thanks for all the entertainment. Watching your stream while painting my silver Templars. Here's a couple I've already painted up. Let's have a look. Ooh, he's looking cool. And boop. Let's 
get some bigger pictures of these. Oh, that's looking great, man. Very cool. I need to get an apothecary. I like them a lot. I just don't have one for my Dark Angels yet. Nice line highlighting on the armor, though. Very neat. And I like the bases, too. Is there a librarian? Looking cool. Got a sergeant. Very nice. And a raptor boy. Not raptor, what are they called? Reaver? Man, awesome. Good work. Okay. God, I got a lot of, lot of game pings. What's happening? Uh, another rogue trader. Uh, not a lot we could sell them. Anything we want to buy? What do servo arms do? They give you a move speed bonus. And work speed bonus. Oh, they are pretty good, actually. How much do they cost? Oh, two grand. We'll have to build some of our own. Uh, ripper gun, las carbines. Yeah, nothing we really need here. Thud mortars. Man, I'd like to build a thud gun. That would be cool. All right, wait till everyone's healed up, and then we'll go on a quest. Uh, Jimmy Space donates and says, I just realized, not only is Flightly Flightless Hawk missing a brain hemisphere, they're using a circadian half-cylinder. So they're only using a quarter of their brain at a time. So we can only assume that they must have been a genius's genius before their injury. <laughs> I guess so. That might, yeah, because they're... They lost half their brain, and then they're sleeping half their brain, so they never need to sleep. My God, flight as hawk. You're like the smartest man alive. Or something. Um, we're going to need some more bricks, I think. Let's get people doing bricks. And doing arts. Uh, what other crafty things can we get them doing while well, there's not a lot going on? Um, we could do some more gladiuses, like sidearms. That worked pretty well. Uh, not out of uranium or plasteel, please. Just make them out of steel. And let's make like three. What else can we be making? Uh, everyone's got the the standard uniform on. Can we turn that bench off. Um. Armor fabricator. Don't need any of that just yet. Uh, can we make any cool weapons yet? Oh my god, we can make a lot of weapons. Um, a million different las guns. Heavy stubber. Shotguns. Ripper gun. Webbers. Um, transonic blade. Arc maul. Radium carbine. Radium gisale. Tell me more about the radium gisale. 48 range. I was hoping it'd be longer range than that. Um, does anyone know this mod well enough to know, like, what are the good weapons? What should I be aiming for? I don't want to just, like, have to literally look at every single weapon stats. Um, have got any tips? Bolters. Well, I can't build bolters yet. They're literally like the only thing that's not on the list. <laughs> shurikens are great. Yeah, all my guys have already got shurikens. I wanted some imperial weapons though. Uh, auto guns. I feel like. What I've got is already better than auto guns, though. Maybe we'll just, okay, we can just wait till we, we do some research. Why is no one researching? Oh, the cougars come. Um, 
Okay, they're coming from the north. Hopefully the kill box will get them. Oh, here they come. Yeah, why is no one researching? Mahons and Blazing Psycho, what are they doing? Uh, cleaning. It's weird. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, uh, everyone to battle stations, I guess. Uh, you lot to that. And then you lot to there. Um, we're doing Imperial research. We're doing some re kind of research. Is it bugged? So it says in progress. Is it bugged? Okay, they're in position. Uh, we'll get um, Foggy Yo on the heavy bolter. And. So now Warmaster can hold the door. Okay. It's bugged. You need dev mode to complete it. This happens to you all the time. Wow, oh, man, this is getting getting annoying. All these like bugged things. Okay, here they come. Oh my god, that heavy bolter. It's meaty, isn't it? Oof. Right. Good job, everyone. Good job. <laughs> um, meat back on the menu, boys. You're not wrong. Meat really is back on the menu. Okay, so how do I fix the bugged research? Um, Does anybody have the time to do research? Yeah. Yeah, like Mahons. Well, he's going to bed now. But he was choosing to do something lower down his priority rather than research. I'll wait till the morning and try again. Um, someone actually needs to finish these suckers off. I think they're all dead now. Okay, where are these visitors? Here they come. If I try turning the research table on and off again, I can give that a go. Don't think it'll work, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Um. Okay. I don't know why our nudist is our like chief negotiator. I feel like they're not going to get the best prices. Uh, have these guys got literally nothing? Have oh, they got some crack and some medicine and some meals? Okay. I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I could sell them all my... Um... Oh, they've only got 120 bucks. That's annoying. Okay, well, I'll buy everything they've got, I guess, and then give them, like, a kidney. And another kidney? Sure. I guess that'll do. Wish they had more money. Um Right. Back on the donuts. Where'd we get to? Um Epodax donates again. Thank you, Epodax. It says, Am I alive again, Bon Bon? Well, yes and no, Epodax. I'm, I don't know what's happened. Like, I couldn't fix you, even though I had the components. It bugged out. So um, I ended up having to delete you and rebuild you in god mode. But now, I, it won't let me rename you. It just bugs out whenever I try. Um, so I'm going to have to try and fix it off screen. Because look, like if I delete it, it doesn't actually delete. And when I type, it doesn't actually type. 
Um, they'll have to like troubleshoot that after the stream. So we'll try and get you back in. But we're still saying this is you. You're still here. Just have a little text problem with your name. Um, Dude Kazoo's donated and says, Ben, I cobbled together a radio from bent butt plugs and Vought Gobbo Pearls to call you from the pile. A bit of advice. You can put hydroponic basins outside without walls, floors, or lights to rapidly grow crops. A solar panel will run almost two dozen. Wow. Okay, so it's just like having super fertile ground, I guess. Smart. I didn't. I did not know that. I don't think we've even researched um, hydroponics. Speaking of research. Let's um let's try this. Yeah, they're still not doing it. It's super bugged. Okay. Let's try and unbug it. Um dev mode. God mode. Um Research? Is that on here? I don't know. Re finish all research. I mean that's a bit much. Um, edit. Is that? Go to the research screen. Click on the research and hit finish. Where's finish? Is it this button up here? No, that's a copy to clipboard button. Um, with God, I think I've got God mode on, haven't I? Yeah, God mode's on. I'm on the research screen. There is no button. Ah, oh, debug finish now. Oh. Doesn't work. It just says it's in progress. Select like something you aren't researching right now. Okay. Select something else to research. Okay, so let's say I'm going to research doors. And then go back to Tech Adepts of Mars. It's not bugged, it's because you're using the human rather than Mechanicum species. Okay. So what do I... How do I fix this? Still not. That hasn't done it. Um, hmm. I don't want to just cheat and finish it now, though. Is that actually going to fix it? And then, then what? Just research something else. Bolt weapons. Okay. Ah, and now he's going. So I, I had to cheat. That's annoying. Well, I mean, I guess we weren't researching anything for a few days. So I probably would have finished that research by now anyway. So it's not that cheaty. Hmm. Uh, right, what are we going to do now? Um, all right, we're getting everyone healed and then we're going on an adventure. Right, who is, um, who's good at mining? Because they could have the drill hand. Victor is very good at mining. How are your arms looking, Victor? Right then, you sir, your flesh is weak. Um, you're gonna get a left-handed drill arm. Report for drilling. All right, what else have we got? Got the power claw, but I think my power swords are probably better than the power claw. Um.
And I don't think I've got anything else to install. I think we're up to date on all the Barnics. Oh no, the Gastro Analyzer. Um, improves cooking. Okay, who's our best cook? Asterad. Okay. Um, install the Gastro Analyzer. Why do they never use the medical bed first? The one that's actually good for healing. Okay, Blazing Psycho, just stick this up your nose. Everything's going to be okay. It's good. Excellent. Okay. Um. Now we need more rocks. Bring back the rocks. Any good loot lying around? Nah. God, we need more metal already. They're just chewing through metal. Uh. There must be some more steel around here somewhere. Uh, did I see your dono? Sorry, I'm a little behind on donos. I'm going to catch up in a sec. Just trying to find some steel and then I'll get back on it. Uh, oh, there's some down here. I sworn I saw a whole bunch. Ah, here it is. I knew there was a whole bunch somewhere. It's far away from the base as possible. Perfect. Some of the ruins are made out of steel. That's a good point. I can deconstruct them. Where are they? Uh, I think these are steel? Yeah. Uh, any more for any more? It's all limestone. Okay, well that'll keep everyone busy for a while. Okay, let's read some more donos. Um, what did we get to? Dude Kazoo donates. Thank you. And they say, All hail Supreme Overlord Bon! Any chance of me becoming a possessed toilet? <laughs> Could say I would be a very lively rim. How is the back, by the way, after Rocket League? Oh, my back's very well, thank you. I had barely to use it at all. Luckily, there was someone else ready to carry the shit out of us. <laughs> thank you, Dude Kazoo. Rocket League was good fun. I should play some more of that. Genuinely, really enjoyed it. Um, the Mossad says, Ben, I kind of doomborn my sleep before uh, guard duty and I was late by 30 minutes. Now I'm grounded in base for five days. Maybe I'll finish my models, lol. Uh, do you have any stories of being late to something important? Um, ooh, oof. Yeah, I guess like in the army, they don't, they don't want you being late in the army. That's, that's, that's important. Uh, bolt weapons are done. Amazing. Um... I don't know. Yeah. I can't think about it. Like, I've definitely been... I used to be late for stuff all the time. But I can't think of anything super important that I've been late for. Um, oh, hang on. Before I choose a tech, let's pause it. Imperial Armors... Uh, 
What do you need to make Imperial med kits? You need to build a medical fabricator. That sounds expensive. But then you get augments, which are pretty good. And you eventually get space marines. Uh, the core extractor sounded sounded pretty good. Let's get that, but we'll use our um, our instant tech researcher on it. How do we do that? Arms? Use this. Wow, that's quick. Just did it. Boom. Core extractor completed. Um, what now? Uh, I guess we work up to Volkite. Macro stubbers. That sounds good. Let's do advanced ballistics. Get some proper admet guns. Um, and now we've got bolters. Dual bolt pistols. Bolter lock. Storm bolter. <gasps> Combi grav gun. These all sound amazing. Um, let's make a lock pattern. No, let's make a storm bolter. Let's not. Let's not mess around. Uh, four components, 150 steel, 60 ceramite. That sounds cheap enough. Um, is there like a minimum strength requirement or something? Like, it, can we just walk around with a storm bolter? Uh, freaking great. Let's just do it. Let's build a storm bolter. Needs four components. We should have that. Or at least we have them on the way, right? Uh... Oh, yeah, we've already got five. Perfect. Right, turn that thing back on. Storm Bolter Ahoy! Um. Oh, Summers donated with the same message? No, Dude Kazoo and Summers have listed as having the same message. That's, that's a bug. Um. Hang on, let me check. Uh, where are you? Dude Kazoo. Oh, you've disappeared. Oh, no, that's my bad. I already read Dude Kazoo's message. Okay, cool. Um... Tactical T says, finally caught your stream. I've been working on HQs for my Inquisition army. What do you think? Please forgive my lack of basing. They are not finished yet. Oh, Tactical T, you didn't put a link in. I want to see your Inquisitor. Can you post it in chat? Oh, the toilet was Summers. Oh, some of the messages got garbled. Sorry about that. Um... A bolter lock is required to make other more advanced bolters. The toilet with summers. Uh, planetary core extractor needs one. Th needs three thousand five hundred power before you can make it. Oh my god. Um. Okay. How do I fix that? We've we got any more like um, geothermal vents we can use? There's one here. Let's do that. Um, and what kind of bricks do we need to make it out of? Sandstone. Okay. Make it look a little bit prettier. And some concrete. And then... Uh, do not build a roof. Perfect. New lovers. What's happened? 
Blazing Psycho has flirted with Astrad by pay playfully making fun of his p punctuality. Astrad responded well and is now Blazing Psycho's lover. They want to sleep together. Oh my god. Okay, Blazing Psycho and Astrad. Congratulations. You you tricksy punctual so and so. Um well, I guess we can like we can rearrange your bedroom. That's doable. Uh Out of the way. So Ben, the tech was not bucked, but I was not the correct race to research the Mechanicus tech, since they have to be Admech humans to research them, and you were just a normal human pleb. Oh. Okay, so what? Some of our guys are humans, and some of them are Admech. How do we find that out? Okay, so what? This one's Admech? Aren't they all? They all have that symbol. Um, I don't know how to find out who's a what then. Does that mean the new research isn't going to get done either? Because we need an Admech for that. The info page. There isn't an info page. What do you mean? Oh, this one. Uh, got bio, health, permits, records. Um. Jeez, 54 kills on Flightless Hawk. It's amazing. In the description. Okay. So Fipsy and Flightless Hawk are both Mechanicus. Victor, Mechanicus. Asterad, just a human. I guess everyone else is going to be a human. The only Mechanicus we've got are the ones we started with. Well, this is going to be a problem. Um, yeah. So none of our Mechanicus guys have got any intellectuals. Is that right? Oh, Fipsy's got ten. Oh, that's annoying. But Fipsy's good at doing other things. He's dealt 261,000 damage because of the orbital strikes. Is that a lot, actually? Feels like a lot. Uh, compared to Victor, who's got... Yeah, 13,000. 13, it's a lot more. Um, what a dumb thing. That our guys can't research stuff because they're born in the wrong place. That fucking sucks. Um, so that's it. Now I just can't do this tech tree. Um, well, I hate that. I guess I could research Imperial Guard stuff with the humans. A new quest. A legendary bed. Oh my god, what does it do? A masterwork sniper rifle and a low shield pack. Um Seven Pirates. Once you provide five soldiers. We could do that. We could do a strike to get a legendary bed. Let's do it. Who are we send in? Um, Victor, Flightless Hawk, Mahons, Foggio. Uh, Blazing Psycho. One, two, three, four, five. Get in the chopper. 
You'll find more AdMac humans from AdMac raids, ancient dangers, and drop pod clashes. Occasionally, slave traders as well. Okay. Oh, Tactical T sent a link. Ah, oh, thank you, Tactical T. Did want to see your toys. Uh, this is Tactical T's Inquisitorial Warband. Ah, oh, nice. Look at my book. My book is amazing. Wow, super zoom. Yeah, it's getting there, man. It's getting there nice. Did you have any others? Uh, oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. Where was the main page? Okay. So these made like these are converted using like the enforcer models and, and other bits by the looks of it. Yeah, it really works. It's like an Inquisitor's strike team. Cool. Wow, man. Very cool. Can't wait to see the whole lot done. And we're going to clean up these cougars. Um... Right, let's also accept like rotten animal corpses, I guess. Was it five people we needed to send? Yeah. Okay. Strike team away. get Mechanicus from recruitment ships. Okay. Good to know. Right. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got a bandit camp. Who's here? We've got a uh, hammer. His regal beneficence. Mercus 105. Dark Kano. And the Destroyer, which is the guy with an axe. Sure, five of them. There's two more hiding somewhere then, that means. Uh, shuttle's landed over here. Strike team. Strike team ready. Um, it's a lot of cover. Let's just move up to these rocks here, I think. Oh, look at this mod. Yes. I like this. Were there turrets? I didn't see any turrets. There could be a sneaky one hiding somewhere because they've got a solar panel. Well, getting covered, dude. Blammo. Well, that was... That was pretty straightforward. <laughs> blam, blam, blam. They just immediately surrendered. After three of them were destroyed at range. None of them even got wounded. I wanted to take some prisoners. Oh my god. Darkano. We're coming for you. We're coming. No, no, they're, they're too fast. Okay. Um, orders. Claim. My base now. Anything inside? Mm, they've got a heater. I can take the heater. And dinner. Just a <laughs> random dinner. Sure. Uh, I don't think we can take anything with us, actually. Let's just get out of here. Couldn't see anything. There's literally nothing here. There's one meal. That's it. 
I could deconstruct the solar panel, but it's just like going to be like 50 steel, and I, I don't know how to actually get them to carry it, to be honest, because it's not like I'm loading up a caravan. Strike team home! Right, let's install this legendary bed. Uh... Okay, perfect timing because we needed a um, we needed a good double bed, didn't we? Um, if you want a good quality of life mod, I highly recommend getting Pharmacy. It allows you to set what medicines to use for specific circumstances, so you won't waste your mega t mega heal kits on someone getting a paper cut. It's a real-time saver, and one of the ones I regularly play with. That is a good tip. Thank you, um, thank you, Adam. I will definitely use that, because it's really annoying. Yeah, you. I don't want people using Glitter World Medicine on my dog's asthma. Like, that's massive overkill. Is anyone going to install that bed? Pirates with a Psychic Suppressor. It's going to upset all the women. There's 11 pirates guarding it. It's pretty close by. Okay, we can take that. We can definitely take that. Um, right, who was it? Blazing Psycho and Astarad. Perfect. Right, well, everyone's healed up, so we, we can go on an adventure now. Um, I really want a pack animal to do better convoys. But can't always get what we want. Uh, how's the bolter doing? Oh, Jesus. Slow going. Mahon's is building it. Why is Mahon's building it? He's not very good at crafting. Shit. If I cancel it, do I get everything back? Not everything. Most of it. Okay. Make a storm bolter, but only if you're good. How about that? Um, what is this? Crew hunting rifle. Cool. Did I already make one while I wasn't paying attention? No, it doesn't look like it. What does the legendary bed do? I don't know. To be honest, um, it bears an artwork of a thousand beats at the edge of the image, <laughs> or a thousand eclipses. What? Get into my beats bed. Mm. <laughs> Truly, legends shall be spoken of this bed. Sure. Well, it's probably very comfy. The new quest. They want seven Krieg rebreathers. Oh, and we'll get Thrall Owen to join us if we do it. Always need more people. Um, brilliant. Yeah, he'll 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 do nicely. Um. Okay, I'll do it. How long do I have? Oh, jeez, four days to make seven Krieg rebreathers. Um. I don't know if we can do that. How long do they take? Well, they're quite cheap. So it would take 140 steel and 70 ceramite. We have we have the materials. Um Let's do it. Let's just do it. Right, Victor, you're not sleeping. You're our best craftsman, and you're not allowed to sleep. Get to work. You better work, bitch. Uh, 
How quickly is he making them? He's pretty quick, actually. It's only taking him like two or three hours to make each one. Um... Oh, no, we've got, we've got 30 days to do it. Oh, okay, no, Victor, you can sleep. I'll take it all back. You can be a sleepy boy. Uh, I thought it was only going to have like two days to make them all. It's going to make him stay up like the shoemaker and the elves. Where's Ipudax at? Because things look dirty. Oh, he's planting trees. Good work, Ipudax. So we've finally got some wood. We have. We've got some wood. Oh, my God. We haven't had wood for a long time. I've got anyone else who's good at crafting. Okay. Well, I'll allow... I'll allow fog to make a storm bolter. Right, where was I? I was reading some donuts. Um, Spencer Will says, Ben, what are your thought? Uh, what are your thoughts on PLA printing for little statues, larger than the mini scale? You and Tom. Got me interested in painting things, but I got the printer before I knew about resing. Here is my first. Um, for miniatures, I much prefer the resin printers. I don't like the, the PLA look because you get like a like a rough texture, which once you start painting the model, like really really shows up. But I think they would work pretty well for um for like scenery. If you're gonna do some like ruins and rubble and like sh temples and stuff, you could print out some really nice uh, terrain. Uh, with a PLL printer. Uh, let's see what you've sent. Uh, oh, cool, you've done like a bust. Krieg, Krieg bust. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. I think the problem is, though, if you were to, like, ink wash it, immediately all of these grooves that the, the printer makes look even more pronounced once you've ink washed. And that's, like, quite an important part of my painting technique. Um, and you can't dry brush either, because if you dry brush, again, all the layers get pronounced. Um, so I guess as long as you make printing stuff that that you want that kind of texture on, then, oh, oops, then it looks fine. But that looks pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Thanks for sending it in. Oh, Vossbender just gave out five gift subs. Thank you, Vossbender. Didn't I want to change the kind of trees? Oh, that's true, I did, yeah. Um, though I don't actually need massive amounts of wood, do I? If we just leave it. But yeah, thanks, Vospender. Super generous gift subs. Can I make servitors? Um, I don't know. I can make servo skulls. I don't think this mod can make um, servitors, but I bet we could find one that does. Oh, that's good. I want that, that sweet, sweet steel. We've got visitors. Who's here? Dave. Gla Glaviton Goon. Uh, Alex Moran for life. And Ken Wothington are, are paying us a visit. Can I talk to them? Oh, they don't want to talk to me. Should we arrest them? Have they got any good gear? Uh, not like super good gear. Some Imperial armor and las guns. Should we try and like kidnap and brainwash one of them? No, it'll just piss them off. They're like our only allies on this whole planet. Maybe we should leave him alone. Uh, 
Oh, I failed to make a door. You dangus. Alright, where was I? Um, why is one of the nine dudes naked? That's just how Asterad rolls. He likes to be nude. And uh, no one's complaining. You know, he's well equipped. They were enjoying. Enjoying the nude doctor. Uh, exotic goods trader. Oh my. So exotic. Maybe they'll buy all my like weapons I want to get rid of. What are your stats? You missed them. Uh, Warmaster, here you go. Uh, these are your stats. You're crafting. You're basically mainly going to be a crafter. But you're a hard worker as well. Which is good. Bit of mining too. Uh, have I got you on doing both those jobs? Crafting and mining. Cool. <laughs> Nudist. Pacifist. MD. He's got he's the whole package. Old Asterad. Uh right, buy my shit, please. Uh Ooh, we could sell on these sculptures. Could be some good money. Um, sell on the power claw. I'm not going to use the power claw. Um, we lost a brain somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, get rid of the liver, the heart, and the lungs. Now we have to buy something from them because I've only got 900 bucks. Um, oh, a melee skill trainer could be good. Um, advanced components. I guess you always need advanced components, right? That's just something we're gonna need. Uh, should we buy a donkey? Can donkeys be pack animals? Uh, is there a thing that says? How could they not be? Well, Rimworld weird sometimes, you know? Sometimes Rimworld is weird. Oh, pack animal, yes. There we go. Sweet. Okay, yeah, we need we we need a pack animal. Let's get a donkey. Um What else can we get rid of? Get rid of those two incendiary cell shells, they're just annoying. Um There we go. Perfect. Give him one of the statues. Ah, oh, I reborn TV. Nine months subbing. Our Twitch baby is ready. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that support. All right then, donkey. Donkey, you need name. Let's spin the wheel. Da 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 da. It's Lockar. Lockar the donkey. Uh, welcome, Lockar. Are you healthy? I didn't check it. You are healthy. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's train it. Why not? Advanced trainability. Amazing. Uh, Lund donates again and says, I need to make a backup character for a D&D &D campaign I'm in. I was wondering if there's any good characters in Warhammer lore that could be turned into D&D &D adventurers. Oh, my God. There's probably a million. I mean, they've got Trick and Felix. They're the classic D&D &D adventure group. Um, check out Got Trek and Felix for some, for some role-playing adventures. Um, who else is there? Who else would be good? Uh, it's hard to say. Most of them are like kings and nobles and really super important people. Can't think of a lot of um, yeah, Heinrich and Krell. 
They're a classic adventuring duo. Um, Quick rebreathers are done. Pretty much already playing Gotrek. Um, who else is there? There's Cyphus Kane. He's a bit of a um, bit of a D and D character. Um, for one, a fantasy. Not sure, yeah. Most of the characters are, I haven't read a lot of fantasy novels, so the only characters I really know are they're like the big, the big emperors and kings guys. Um, Dark Blade, yeah. Malice Dark Blade had a whole bunch of adventures in a comic. I haven't read them all, so I couldn't tell you if they're any good. Kremlo, obviously, you could be you could be a Kremlo. Check out the deep, deep Kremlo lore. Right, should we do a caravan? Get those Krieg masks delivered. Um, how do I do it? Are they all high enough quality? Where are they? There's one. Uh, normal, good, good, good. Good, good, excellent, good. Oh man, they're all amazing. Good stuff. Okay, um, do you think they'll buy our guns as well? Should we take all the guns? Wait, Kremlo's real? Yeah, Kremlo's real. Well, you're not watching the Lawhammer and your hammer. Kremlo, Kremlo was Lawhammer. Yeah, where? Oh, I've forgotten. Where are we taking the masks? Um. Oh, over there. Sweet. All right then. Well, form caravan to here. Take um. Victor. Turn off travel supplies. Take Victor and... Foggyo. Foggyo. Um, and Blazing Psycho. And... I guess I needed like a, a good negotiator. Who's got high chat skill? Not you. Not you. Uh, not you. Nope. Nope. God, none of our guys are good at talking. Um. Only moly. Fine, I guess Fipsy's got to go because no one else can talk to save their lives. Um. Right, what are we taking? So, oh, and the donkey, obviously. Lockar, you're coming. Um. Right, taking the gas masks. Um. Taking the shuriken catapults, the crew hunting rifles. We're just going to be like a arms trading caravan. We're going to sell all this filthy Xenos tech. Uh, we need to burn those bio coded weapons. Um, Is that too much stuff? No, we can still carry it all. Okay. Uh, we got so much crap. Oh, we're keeping the gladiuses. Sidearms. Um, no, don't need to take the corpses. That's fine. Um, where are all these corpses? That'll probably do, right? Okay, take all the guns. Then we'll take... Uh, oh, we've only got three bedrolls. <laughs> Whoops, we need to build a new bedroll. Um, we'll take... We'll take like six medicine. And like eight herbals. 
um, and then all the all the food and some hay for donkey. Perfect. Um, Astrad can talk to these guys. Who's their talk man? That one. Did we? Are these the ones we already talked to? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Um, right, that'll take him a little while. Web is finished. Perfect. Uh, we need drug production. Okay. Right, where did I get to? Um, Kenny has donated and says... My hat has run dry. Soon my employer may pay me. For now, this is all I can give. Thank you again for the gameplay and yesterday's Warhammer stream. Hope it's all, all is going well and will go well if it isn't at the moment. Thank you, Kenny. I don't understand what you mean by your hat has run dry. Um, but I hope I hope money's okay and everything goes all right for you, dude. I'm doing okay. Um, and soon we'll be able to like go and see friends and, and, do, and go outside. And that'll be amazing. Just need to hold on. It's going to be all right. Hope you're doing okay, Kenny. Thank you very much. And uh, Speed Fox donated five dollars and said, "Buy the guinea pig, <laughs> dude. I'm not buying a guinea pig. Thank you for the dono, but guinea pigs are trash. Like, what do they do? What's the point of them?" How do they survive on their own? Fipsy, Victor, Foggy, Blazing Psycho. They're the ones that need to be allowed food. Um, Fipsy, Victor, uh, Foggy, Blazing Psycho. Okay. <laughs> you can eat guinea pigs, fast breeding food source. <laughs> Is that true? Do they actually breed quickly enough to be useful as um, as meat? Doesn't feel right. All right, make another couple of bed rolls for next time. One of the greatest bits of forty k lore is that Ferris Manus ate sand. Is that true? Tell me more. Explain more about that. That could be a good law hammer for Tom next week. Why did Ferris Manus eat sand? <laughs> Was he trying to ward off Darth Vader's? Is it like eating garlic for vampires? <laughs> Ate sand, pooped out microchips. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. More more explanation required. You've eaten guinea pigs in Peru. Tasty, but not a lot of meat on them. Yeah, I bet. Um Oh, Fipsy's met a caravan, but they won't talk to us. So I guess we'll just keep on trucking. He had a fire in his gut and his poop came out as glass. You're making it up. You That must be made up, surely. It's true about them eating guinea pig. It was the original use for them. Okay, well, I can imagine if you're a desperate, primitive people, sure, you'd breed guinea pigs and if you didn't have any other, like, cattle around. Well, that makes sense. Tell me more about the sand thing, though. Excuse me, primitive. Well, no, I assumed when you were talking about breeding guinea pigs, it was like thousands of years ago. Was it more modern than that? They're still eating today. Oh, wow. It's like a weird, weird thing to eat. 
How very imperialist of me. <laughs> no, that's the way it was phrased. It was like you guys were talking about, um, you know, how they used to be bred for me. I thought you meant like in the olden days. I didn't think it still happened. Because of his home planet had barely any food where he landed. And he wandered. And because he's a Primarch, he could live by eating sand. Oh my god. How how does sand give him any any nutritional value? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> uh truck production. Amazing. Okay. Um medicine production let's do that but primarchs wouldn't have to eat really well, what are they powered by then what what fuels a primarch if they don't have to eat you can be rich in minerals i guess but you can't live on minerals alone you need like calories right powered by the emperor's will all right. So what? The Primarchs are demons? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Fueled by their massive personality flaws. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to research it later. Find out if you're lying to me. Um... Ferris Manus eats sand. We'll Google that later. That sounds like a real like JK Rowling retcon. You know? Just like nobody nobody asked for that. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> we got who's this? Rotten, crypt, and distinctly average are here. From the Concord of Aurora. Who are they? Can I fight them? Uh, they're just like random humans that we're not super good friends with. Enemies of the Tyranids. Uh, should we nab these guys? Should we just grab them? Where's their house? Uh, I think we could do with some fresh organs. Come on, boys. Organs. We got organs to claim. <laughs> you try writing 10,000 Horus Heresy books and keep putting new things in. Peter Turbo is a nerd and plays Warhammer and eats sand. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you've got to write a billion books, like, you're going to put some nonsense in, aren't you? Like, that's just the way it goes. Can't be helped. Okay, everyone else is a bit slow. Should Mohan start the, the party early? What have these guys even got? That guy's got a knife. He's got a revolver. He's got an SMG. Okay, no, we got this. Right, Mohan's open up with your shuriken cannon. He's got organs to claim. He's dead. Oh no, they're running away! Right, Astrad. Claim that body, please. Uh, everyone else. Chase. Chase them down. Couldn't have tried to arrest them. I guess. I just wanted the organs, really. But this guy's pretty good. Distinctly average. We could arrest him. Oh, actually, they're both not bad. Um, can I do that now, or is it too late? Do I just have to melee? Try to arrest. Oh, yeah, we haven't got prisoner room. Hang on. Um, 
Try to arrest. Try to arrest. Okay. You're coming with me. Dead or alive. Shit. We got the bad one. I wanted this one. This one's the good one. Get power sorted. Oh, War Master. Didn't want to kill him. Um, just hacked through the torso. Oof. Um, yeah, just, just fucking hacked him up. Oops. We're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I just built a Weber. I've researched Webers. I haven't actually built one yet. But that's a really good point. I had forgotten about the Weber. Um, God, there's a lot of lot of guns here, aren't there? Let's have a look at it. Um, targets are quickly entangled in a painful embrace. If they attempt to struggle, the filaments constrict more, further entrapping them. Okay, let's ma let's make one of these for harvesting suckers. Uh, break risk. Warmaster sad. What's wrong with Warmaster? Hungry. Uh, impressive barrack. Minus one. What? What's your problem? Right. Asterat. Um... Why can't Astrad harvest? Oh. Because the bodies have already been put in there. Okay, hang on. Um, yeah, we got corpses, we got medicine. Oh, this mod pisses me off sometimes, I have to say. He hasn't been dead for too long. Um. Sure. Mechanary corpses here. Human corpses here. Um, priority critical. Priority important. And now there's two of them. Okay, now we've got a body near the operating table. Yes, autopsy. Okay. okay. Chop, chop, chop. Right, crypt. Crypt. Are you good? You're a melee researcher, jack of all trades, trigger happy fast walker. Okay. How much do you hate us? You don't hate us at all. Amazing. Let's recruit you. Um, and let's give you paste. You're only allowed paste. Um, perfect. We've got another brain. Brain, double kidney, liver and heart. Perfect. Just, oh, and now another one. Amazing. God, this is macabre, isn't it? Just grabbing nearby passers-by and harvesting all their organs. Well... We need the brains. We need to make more service girls and more cogitators. This is how it's done. Right. Um, I guess now we don't want human bodies. Take them away, Apodax. Take them away. <laughs> Oh, it's because Astrid couldn't enter the corpse room. You're right. That's what it was. Thank you. Yeah, because the humans aren't allowed in the corpse pile. Oh, jeez. 
All the cougar bodies. Colonist needs treatment. What's wrong with Warmaster? Oh shit, it's bleeding. Jesus, Warmaster. Why didn't you tell anyone you were wounded? Right. Um, I want to get a couple of shelves for these guns. Should put a little, a little armory down here. Oh, blight in the hay grass. Jeez. Cut it all down. And if we've got any of our farmers here, actually. Uh, Flightless Hawk donates and says, Hey, what did I miss? Well, thank you for donating, Flightless Hawk. You missed loads. Um, Honestly, just blooming loads. Oh no, the Xenotech traders here. And I took all my guns to sell to the other guys. I could have just sold them. Oh, how annoying. Ooh, Haywire Cannon. Um... Adamantium power sword's worth a pretty penny. Oh well. My bad. Uh, yeah, oh man, I don't even know where to start. Lots of attacks. Um, bit of bit of bionic upgrading. Bit of research. Nothing too dramatic. We had a whole load of boom rats come in. We nearly got a wipe from boom rats. Uh, Spencer Will donates and says, in for a penny, in for a pound. Some people were asking to see uh, the other images in the album. Just saw some Krieg angles and some death claw slash large dragon print that I need to paint. Thanks for the painting tips. Oh, let me see. Oh, there were more pictures of the Krieg statue. Oops, my bad. Sorry, dude. Um, I thought there was only the one. Um, nope, that's, there we go. So this was the, the 3D print Krieg, Krieg bust. Got some more angles on it. And the dented shoulder pads look good. Ooh. Oh, these boys. Too much zoom. Got a dragon. Some like demon boys. Not sure what these guys are. Pretty cool though. Nice. Okay. So Spencer Will's 3D printing escapades. Death claws. Ah, oh, of course, death claws. That makes sense. I knew I recognised them from something and I couldn't put my finger on it. Cool. Ah, we're about to make it. We've never done a delivery quest before. They're normally a bit too tricky. Quest failed. Raider encampment. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the one that was there. We could have done it on the way. It was literally on the way. I didn't realise the timer was so close. That's annoying. We can hear your phone ping go off, the ping sound. Not that it matters, but I thought it was my phone. You, no, you can't. My phone hasn't pinged all all game. It's on um it's on silent. There must be something else pinging. Is it that? That's the game. There's Rimworld pings. Um, oh shit, this bandit camp is going to expire 24, 23 hours. Um, should we bother with it? Let's get some more honour. Why not? It's on the way. We can take it out on the way back. Perfect. Like this hawk's idle, really? But Flightless Hawk, it's your job. 
to cut out the blight. How can you be idle? Okay, here we go. Uh, fulfill trade offer. Confirm. Nice. And trade with them. Please buy my guns. Um, I think they will. I think they will. Look at this. Bam, 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 bam. Sell all the guns. Oh my god. Oh, they've only got a thousand bucks though. Ugh. Um. All right. Well, let's sell them everything and then uh, see what they've got to buy. Uh, they've got cows. We could do cows might be fun. Could get some milk. And uh, they got choco. They got human meat. Oh my god, loads of human meat. Jesus. Um, rice berries, chem fuel. Well, advanced components. Well, that's literally that'll sort me right out. Uh, that's valuable shit right there. Um, I'll buy some medicine from them. Uh, mortar shells, I'll buy those. God, they've got loads of good stuff. What's a learning assistant do? Um... Twenty percent learning increase. It's pretty cool. Um, tell you what, man. I need I need a pee. I can't really think. I can't think straight about this. I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Oh, that's better. God, sometimes he doesn't even realize you need it. It just kind of builds up in the background, and everything gets tense for no reason. Oh, I can relax now. It's good. Um. What were we doing? I was going to buy some shit. I actually want a lot of stuff. I want some of their steel. I want loads of things. But I didn't bring any money. So I can't have everything. Um, Jeez, Ultramarine Terminator helmet. Seems pretty cheap. Uh, my sword? kind of want the learning assistant, but it's quite a lot of bucks. Um, I think this will do. This will do. Um, right. Let's go hit that bandit camp on the way home. <laughs> no fair, Ben P faster than me. Not a race, guys. It's not a race. Don't worry. We've got Thrall Owen here. Can I see his stats? Poor old Owen. He doesn't get a sleeping bag. Is to follow them around. Um, well, welcome aboard, Owen. You're a good shot. You can build, you can plant. You're super immune. You're kind. You're healthy. Excellent. You're a normal human, though. Does that mean he was like a slave? They've just given me one of their slaves, and so now I'm going to set him free. We need to build him the uniform. All right then, guys. You know what's up. It's time to build the trench coat, the jumpsuit, and the helmet. Um, Pious skeleton, did I get your dono? Uh, I didn't see it. Let me check. 
Sorry, the notifications are for donos aren't working at the moment because Streamlabs is kind of messed up. Um, ah, yes, I did. Pi Skeleton donated a couple of minutes ago. Thank you, dude. And they say, hey, Ben, finally able to catch up. Um, I'll be heading back to university in April. Oh, hang on. Something's happening. Oh, it's a psychic drone. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll be heading back to university in April, and I won't have much time for live streams, unfortunately. So I want to get my donos in while I can. Good luck, and add me to the list. Ah, thank you, Pious Skeleton. That's very cool. What are you studying? Good luck with the with the the, uh, the uni stuff. Did we leave anyone behind who can craft? Not really. Oh, my hands can. I'll take a break from researching, get the crafting going. Where is, where is Mahans and does he have all his limbs? Uh, here he is. He's just lost a leg. It's Flightless Hawk who's more machine than man. He's got a denture, half a brain, robo nose, Robo arm, robo arm, robo spine, robo leg. We could upgrade him actually. The prosthetic arm and the prosthetic leg could be swapped out for bionic arm and bionic leg. That would make him a lot better. You were studying psychology. Ah, oh, man. Good luck. My wife did psychology. Something really interesting. Uh, Gammon Joint donated as well. Thank you, Gammon Joint. And they say, hey, Ben, it's me from yesterday with the Lego Doom Wheel. Been thinking about getting some plastic crack and like 30k World Eaters colours. Maybe add some hazard stripes. Uh, but what do you think is a good Space Marine chapter to convert into them? Oh, man, I, I, feel, I feel the same way. The 30k um, World Eaters colours are really nice. White and blue. Looks great. I paint. I don't like the world eaters. I think like they're. I'm not interested in their lore. I find them a bit boring. Um, but I did paint an epic army in those colours just because I like the colours. Uh, where are they? I didn't finish it, but I can show you. Um, here we go. Started it. I'll get around to finishing it one day. Get some zoom ins. Here they are. Tiny space marines. Blue shoulder pads and and white armour. I think it's a good look. But, um, so what were you asking specifically? Uh, so when you say good space print chapter to convert, do you mean what miniatures would I use or what, um, like game rules would I use for them? And are you looking to do, uh, world eaters? actual world eaters or are you just looking to do marines in that color scheme i don't really i'm not really sure what you mean are you in chat little toys are the best toys you're damn right they are oh my god look at all that scrap jeez we need to build a um a thing what's it called smelter Get a smelter going. Yeah, what miniatures? Um, it depends. Do you just want some cool looking space marines that are going to be white and blue? Or do you want to make heresy era world eaters specifically? Are there jetpacks in this? Yeah, there are jetpacks. We've just, um, we had like a tech blueprint for jetpacks. Uh, okay, we've arrived at the bandit outpost. We've got um, Igua, Buffalo, Ulu, and Choco. Jeez, they're like proper primitives. They've got throwing spears and bows and arrows. If we just stand on the other side of this lake, they're going to get wrecked. Let's get Thrallo and can hang back. He hasn't even got a weapon. He's just a poor little urchin, isn't he? 
I win. He's like, please for save me. Save me from the mean Cadians. Call blimey, governor. I'm just a poor little orphan boy. Please, sir, can I have some paste? Can have some paste. Oh, no, they're coming. They're not dying. They're not dying easily at all. Get behind a tree, Victor. These guys are tough. Why are they so much tougher than the last bandits we fought? What's going on? Uh, get that guy. Jeez, that minigun. So bad. Um, let's just go get them. Fipsy and Victor, you're up. Stun that man. Right, the guns. Take out this guy. You two. You're going for the kill. Stab. Oh, Victor. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my god. He slashed Choco's right hand, leaving a disgusting wound. Just chop this sucker's hand off, man. Brutal. Okay, keep going, boys. Keep the pain train rolling. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Down he goes. Um, which means we can claim this. And Fipsy can explore. Ow! Stop, stop shooting. Um, sorry, I'll get back to your question in a sec. Let me just um, deal with this. And then I will uh, talk more about Wild Eaters. Okay, there's nothing worth stealing here. Um, so I guess we'll just pick up all the pemmican. And that's it. We don't really want any of their stuff. Oh well, quest completed at least, right? Um, what quest was this? Um, who should get the honour? Fipsy gets the honour. Okay. Um, all right, pack it up, boys. Do you want to go home, or should we go straight to this thing? Probably not got enough food. Well, let's just go home. We'll take that pemmican with us. Uh, and we'll take their goods. Oh, perfect. Two beds. Now we've got enough beds for everyone. Ideal. Um, anything else worth stealing? Just granite. Some beers. Take the beers, obviously. Um, just, just crap. Oh, silver. Oh, no, that's our silver. All right. Off they go. Pray to a ceremony. Yeah, we need to upgrade to do the ceremony. Because um, I think the throne room's not really good enough yet. Terrapods is available. What does this mean? Oh, oops. Um, Mechanoid swarm is attacked. Get them to attack us. Uh, Lancer, two pikemen, two scythers, sunblocker, countdown activator, three gloom lights, mech shield, assembler, drop beacon, two slugger turrets. It's quite a lot of stuff. Um, I don't want any of that stuff. I think we'll just leave it. Uh, yeah, if you want to do world eaters, um, do you want to do them Primaris scale or Firstborn scale? Because I think. I, I like World Eaters in, like, um, like chunkier armor. I think, like, the Primaris would look a bit too sleek for them. Um, so I'd probably get, like, I don't know, Mark III? Mark III armor, maybe? Let's have a little Google, because some people have done some l amazing, um, art, like, conversions. 
Let's have a little, a little interlude. Um, like that's pretty cool. All they've done is grabbed a box of corn berserkers and swapped out the torsos on the Mark IV Marines with like the ones with the chains on. Looks really good. Um, and again, yeah, it's just um, putting a like a crack, getting the World Eater head. Um, oh, and some bare arms. Yeah, because some of them fight like gladiator style with like a bare arm and a, and a, and a sword. Yeah, that looks great. Again, it's the World Eater helmet with the crest cut off. Um, the modern marine helmet, the like the Mark Eight or Seven, Mark Seven or Eight helmet with the grill, actually, even though it's like looks a bit wrong for most Heresy era armies, it works really well for um, World Eaters. Kind of looks like they're shouting and angry. I bet you can find a company that sells these heads, like these uh, sort of night helms with vision slits. I bet you can order like a whole bag of them for like ten pounds. Save you having to get a world eater box. It's quite a cool look. Um, if you look on eBay or uh, miniature bit sites and just search for like marine helmet or knight helmet, you'll get something that looks just like that. And then you can um, a lot of the old sets have got these head crests. You can, I bet you can go to a bits website and get like a bunch of these crests and stick them on all your sergeants. Um, yeah, there's something about it, like the savagery of the World Eaters combined with the, the like, the pureness of the colour scheme. It's, it's much more interesting than the modern red Blood for the Blood God kind of look. You know, having, like, the crisp, clean white and blue covered in gore and battle damage. Just looks really good. Yeah, I'd probably just go these guys. Just get get a box of like Mark IV Marines, and then find like a company that sells like resin heads. Get a bag of like those slit helms, and um, you know, give them a bunch of chainsaws, and away you go. Or fuck it, just buy the new modern Chaos Space Marine models. Like this guy's done. That works too. They're really nice models. Please lower the music. Is the music really loud? It wasn't that loud for me. Forgeoid sells those heads. Yeah, but Forgeoid will sell you five for 25 quid or something, won't they? The Forgeoid heads will be insanely expensive. I bet you can get them somewhere else. Really cheap. Um, like if you literally just Google Marine Head Miniatures. Um... There's a whole load of companies that make alternate heads. There's like five or six big ones that have dozens of different heads. Someone, like Cromlech or Spellcrow or um, Puppet Wars or uh, Anvil Industries, they all sell hundreds of different heads. One of them will have the, um, the ones you're looking for, and they'll be like less than a pound each rather than like four pounds each from Forge World. But you're gonna be careful. Like, it depends how many you want to, how many miniatures you're gonna have. You don't want to start having everyone with a resin head, and then actually I need a hundred of them <laughs> because my army's gonna be huge. Like that, I guess that's the decision you need to make before you buy any. Uh, right, what's happened? Caravan demand. Fipsy's caravan has been ambushed by three outlanders from the Concord. Of oh, these are the guys we ambushed outside our base. Oh, revenge. They want to steal our singing spear. Fuck those guys. Let's take them. We can fight these jerks. 
What have they got? We've got JC Wu with an SMG. We've got Hockdorf with a shotgun. And we've got Alaravazina with a with a bolt action rifle. Jeez, you guys picked the wrong crew to mess with. Um We've got like shuriken cannons and miniguns and shit. You can take my singing spear out of my cold, dead hands. Alright, Thrall, Owen, hang back. Um, it's a shame I can't steal their organs. Because uh, I don't have a doctor here. Or, or an ta operation table. Oh my god! <laughs> immediate, immediate fleeing. <laughs> Can you take a prisoner with you? Um, have I ever bought anything from Goblin Games? No, I haven't. Sorry, dude. I can't say if they're any good or not. I've never tried. Um, so if I heal this person, can I take them home for an organ harvesting? Death in three hours. Um, You can put down sleeping spots and take their organs. I thought you needed an autopsy table for that. Um, so to make them a prisoner, I technically need a um, like an enclosed room. I think by the time I enclose this room, they're going to bleed to death. Oh, healed on the way. Take them with you. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Cool. Um, take the shotgun. Why not? Machine pistol. Sure. Um... And their food. Why not? Off they go. Let's see if they survive. Hopefully they'll heal them on the way. We've got medicine. Um. Yeah, look, they patched them up. Amazing. Just stick them on the donkey then. And away we go. What difficulty am I playing on? You know what? I actually can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Um, strive to survive. Experienced players who want a rough story requiring skill to survive. Should we up it a bit? Because you're right, it has got a little bit easier recently. We've kind of got over the hump. And now we're doing very well. Should we crank it up a bit? Should we make blood and dust? Experienced players who want to struggle to survive. Because I did say if we stabilised, I would crank it up when we first started. Let's do it. <laughs> Free donkey ride to the organ harvest. Hooray! <laughs> <sighs> All right, so um, yeah, Fipsy's leveled up again. He can get into the ceremony, but we need four columns. He must be home, and all the braziers must be lit. Okay, we need to get two more columns in here to, for it to be a fancy enough throne room. Oh my god, the blight! Can someone deal with this blight? How many, how many times do I have to tell them? Cut all these plants, like, fuck. Um. All right, what? What materials have we got spare? We've got loads of limestone. Okay. What do we make these out of? Steel. Jeez. Um, okay. Needs to be fancier. Oh, Epodax. Epodax is a good boy. God, he's so much faster than Flightless Hawk. Look at him go! He's done like five times as much. Meep, 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 meep. Out of the way, meat bag. 
You're in my way, meatbag. You are slowing down harvesting efficiency. Beep, boop, 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 boop. You've been, you've been replaced, my dude. Time to death ray the blight away. <laughs> oh my god. That would be crazy overkill. Um, we could probably like pretty the base up a bit now, couldn't we, if we wanted to. Got some spare, some spare time. Um, oh god, now I've got to be picky about which weapons I want to go in the armory and which ones I don't want to keep. Um, right, do not store. Uh, don't, don't allow bio-coded stuff, obviously, or tainted stuff. Um... Yeah, and also electric smelter, smelt slag forever within like this area. Um, not too far off using it to burn some clothing. <laughs> yeah, but at least the clothing wasn't right next to my base. <laughs> That's the big difference. Right, wooden shelf. Um, where are all the weapons? Am I being blind? This is just clothes. Why can't this shelf have we oh, weapons? There we go. I was being blind. Okay. Um, don't allow biocoded. That's dumb. Um, I don't want random fucking shit weapons on here. Um, what are persona weapons? They sound nuts. Okay, we'll keep those. Ranged weapons. Uh, just anything that's sort of not, not strong. Jeez, so many weapons. Flipping out. This is kind of nuts. Uh, no bows. No revolvers. Um, no short bows, obviously. But it'd be nice if I could just have a value slider and just be like, nothing worth less than 200 bucks allowed on the weapon rack. Uh, let's try that. And copy. Paste. Ah, the Weber's ready. Can you repair the hauling robot? I don't know how, to be honest. Um, Jimmy Space, I can click repair bot, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I'll deactivate to repair it. Okay, deactivate robot. Is it repealing itself? Ah, you have to like do it like that. Oh, okay, cool. Jimmy Space, you're back online. Beep, boop. Oh man, who is this? Um, Universal Onil. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Cheered 500 bits. Thank you very much. And says, hey Ben, I've been a fan of your content that you do with the Yogs. Uh, you're going to do some more Minecraft. I don't know. There's no immediate plans to. But I think we probably will at some point. Let's see why not. Oh, combat supplier. Cool. Uh, who's the talk man? Oi. 
wait till they get closer. <laughs> Jimmy Space says, I am in pain, master. Sorry, dude. How's the prisoner doing? Uh, well, not far off, not far off. Right, we can sell uh, kidneys, lung, heart. Brilliant. No, oh, no, not the brains. Not the brains. Uh, we have the machine pistol and the revolver. And... About it. Right, what have you got for me, sir? I need to buy about a thousand bucks worth of your stuff. Um, I don't really have anything I want. Um, I could buy some Cadian armor. Some helmets. I've already got cool helmets, though. I don't need those helmets. Ooh, Tempestus Scion Carapace Armor. That looks good. Let's buy some of that. Um, and then, like, their medicine, I guess. Cool. That'll do. Can I smelt biocoded weapons? Uh, maybe I can get something useful out of those. Components. I don't really need components. I can make components pretty cheaply. Um, how many have we got now? Oh, we've only got one component left. Holy moly. Maybe I do. I thought I had more than that. Have I been burning through my components? Why is Astrid being so slow? Oh, he's stoned. Oh, shit. Oh, he probably did a terrible trade deals while he was stoned. Oh, they don't have any components. Um, let's juice them up. You have to be crafting ten to do it. Wow. Okay, well, everyone should be home soon, right? Yeah. Cool. Busy little bees. Off they go. Um, everyone is stoned all the time. Okay, I think it's time we stop smoking, everyone. Right, let's have a look at this scion armor. Oh, 100% armor. It's pretty good. Slows you down a bit, but not that much. Brilliant. Um, skink, skink, dead. Uh, resub for two months and says, Ben, how's the vibe? Vibe's pretty good. Thank you for the sub, dude. How's the vibe with you? You still here? You just saw an LMG go in the smelter. Well, it must have been bio-coded then. Um, yeah. So that's fine. Anything bio-coded, there's nothing else. I can't sell it. I can't use it. Just smelt it. That's all that's left to do. Um, ah, oh, Universal Neil also just cheered another 100 bits. Bring it up to 600. Thank you, dude. Uh, the Kissing Detective resubbed. Thank you. Um, as did Bigger is Better subscribed. Thank you very much. Oh, we need a research project. You're damn right we do. Um, Hmm. 
some deep drilling. Well, we're going to get the mega drill going soon, aren't we? We'll just leave that. Vitals monitor. That sounds good. Oh, shit. Hype train incoming. What just happened? Hype train caused by uh, Killer Kyber. Use their Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. And Dr. Simon Clark came. Hey, oh. What were you guys doing? Greetings, Magos. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. What were you streaming? How is it going? We're, uh, we're playing RimWorld with a Warhammer 40k mod. Uh, we've got Fipsy as the Magos of our colony. Look at him in his robes. Doesn't he look amazing? And his squad of Skitari protecting him from all the evil Xenos. You're playing Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, man. I bet, oh, man, I bet that's really fun. But I also bet, like, there's some people who are amazing at it. Who are still, like, the people still playing it are just, just so good that they would just immediately kick my ass. Uh, yeah, we've got to cancel all this because we don't have enough bits. I'm going to limestone it now. Uh, there we go. There's a HD remaster as well. Oh, man. Very nice. Ah, oh, a Sixian cheered 200 bits for the Emperor. I'm seeing a lot of Xenos weaponry. I'm sure you have good reasons. And it's not heresy, is it? <laughs> well, we're in progress of replacing the Xenos weaponry, to be honest. Look, we've got... Uh, here we go. Foggy Yo. He's um, he's building a Storm Bolter. Good, good old-fashioned Imperial weapon there. Um, we've got a Weber finished. We're slowly trying to replace the filthy Eldar shuriken cannons we've been using as soon as we can. Uh, Commissar, Commissar Lud Fang just says choo choo with 100 bits. Thank you, dude. Uh, someone made a question about starting a Raven Guard army. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, let me scroll back. You say, uh... oh yeah, that's weird. Your message is in chat, but it didn't come up on my feed. How strange. Um, they say, hey Ben, uh, been a fan of your content. Oh no, hold on, I've read that one. I don't see anything about Raven God. Can you just like type it in chat again, and I'll read it out. Um, I'm dumb, and I missed it somehow. Can I build the gravatic weaponry of this Katari? I can definitely build. Um, I can build radium weapons. I've researched that. Um, we've got radium carbines, radium gisales, arc mauls, transonic blades. Oh god, power. We lost power. There's fire. Fire. Fire, you dickheads. Deal with the fire. Jeez. Oh, meet you to cats here. Trying to run with his auto gun. G Tech. Zippy. Um. There's a Squatosaurus Rex. Has just resubbed for 12 months. Squato. Grats. Grats on your anniversary. One whole year serving the Bemperor. I should do something special for the one year stream. It's in like a couple of weeks. Has anyone got any ideas? What would you like to see? What would be a fun way to do the to do the thing? Right, we need to um, we need to knock out this psychic suppressor. Um, who are we gonna send? There's a lot of enemies there. We're gonna have to send quite a few guys, I think. Um, Hmm. I think we send the big guns. Everyone who's got like a massive cannon, basically. Foggy, Blazing Psycho, Mahons, Flightless Hawk, um, Nimuel, and Fipsy can stun anyone who tries to melee us. Six boys. Uh, two, three, four. Six. Six sleeping bags. Perfect. Um, 
take like 10 medicine and 10 herbal and take all that persimmon package survival meals and the donkey to carry any loot back and some hay for the donkey obviously take like 100 hay and I think that'll do. Right, hang on, who's going? Fipsy, Flightless Hawk, Hans. I need to make sure they're all allowed to eat. Um, any like stuff that isn't paste. Victor's staying, so he's back on the paste. Uh, Mahons is going. He can eat whatever he wants. Foggy's eating whatever he wants. Warmaster's staying. Psycho's going. Numiel can eat whatever he wants. Owen has to eat paste. Okay. Um, Owen's new, actually. He needs to be given, like, jobs to do. What's he good at again? Shooting, building, plants. Okay. Um. Building and plants. Okay, cool. And he also needs to be not going into the corpse cupboard. Um, that goblinoid. Any old school FTL jerk off stream for the ba the anniversary? Oh man, that could be fun. You know, I could talk to Tom about that. We've not done um, FTL for ages. Uh, oh, Benny Dem gave a gift sub. Thank you. Gave it to Dr. Simon Clark. That's very kind. Thank you, Benny Dem. Look, Ben, I've snagged you a smart person. <laughs> oh. It's an AMA. Oh, my God. Uh, what's this? Diamond Boots says, you missed a question. Uh, sorry to ask, but have you got any advice for starting a Raven Guard army? No, don't be sorry to ask. I'm always happy to, to help if I can. Um, but honestly, I don't really have any advice for Raven Guard. Um, my advice for... Because the thing is, I, don't, I haven't played the game very much. I've only played like two games of Ninth Edition. I'm no expert on what makes a good army these days. Um, so the only advice I can give is on models. And for models, really, it's personal choice. Getting the models you think look cool is basically... Rule number one. You like the look of a model? Get that model. Paint it up. Have fun with it. Um, don't let anyone just tell you you have to you have to have fucking the worst models in the world because they're the best things in the game. That's that's not fun for me. Anyway, if you just want the best things that are in the game, go it. If that's what you like, do it. Uh, but I can't really help you with that because I don't know what's best in the game. Uh, Law-wise, Raven Guard, uh, they have a lot of jetpack squads. And they have a lot of, like, stealthy boys. Um, so if you want to go, like, lore heavy, then, um, then yeah, get some, like, Vanguard veterans. Um, get some, uh, what are the new stealthy boys called? Um, the Vanguard Marines. I forget what they're called. Um... I'll show you. Uh, we'll find them. Uh, okay. And I guess this is just if you want to stay on theme. Don't let the theme stop you from getting models you like. If there's a model you like, just get it. Don't worry about it. Um, I think like these guys, the Phobos armor boys, they're stealthy. They've got like smoke bombs and shit. Um, so that fits with the Raven Guard theme. We've got Eliminators, which are like sniper boys. You've got, um, they like jump pack guys. So like assault squads or vanguards, they're good. You want beaky heads, ideally. Like Raven Guard traditionally have got like the beaky Mark VI helmet. Um, you've got Incursors, they're kind of behind enemy lines, guys. They're very stealthy, as are Reavers. Um, so see if you can get a bunch of like Mark VI beaky helmets off of um, off of eBay if you're into that. Um, get 
this guy. I don't love this model personally. I think if he did a helmet swap, he'd look a lot better. But he's like a special character Raven Guard boy. Um, yeah, there you go. Almost every Raven Guard model you'll see will have that like beaky helmet. It's like tradition. Um, oh, classic. Yeah, see if you can get a bunch of those. It's always fun. It's a good look. Maybe just for like your squad leaders or something. If you can't get an, a lot of them. Yeah, there you go. Jump packs, sneaky, beaky. Three rules of Raven Guard. <laughs> when you minimize the game, the music blasts the stream way louder. That's weird. I don't know why it would do that. Does it know when I've tabbed out? Kind of an odd move for the game. Oh, so here's the organ bag that we abducted. When they tried to stop us, these bandits. Um, looks like they healed up pretty good. Do we want to try and recruit them or are we going to carve them up for organs? Um... Oh, it could be the scenes in Streamlabs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me fix that now. Um, yeah, it's because, right, when I switch to website view, desktop volume's at maximum. Whereas on my normal thing, it's like half. Okay. Yeah, no, right. Okay, I fixed it. That won't happen again. Sorry about that. Um, are they ad mech or a regular person? That's a good question. They're a regular person. Is this one a regular person? Yeah. Right, well, we're going to recruit Crypt. But I think Hockdorf is not, is not super useful. I think it's organ harvesting time. Um, who's going to do the deed? Victor. Go get him. Strip them off, because then we can use their clothes. That's grim, isn't it? Forcing them to strip before you execute them. Um, chop, chop. You're dead. Jeez! He cut her head off. Oh, my God. Um, he used his power sword blade to chop Hockdorf in her right shoulder... He split her head cleanly. Oh my god. That's brutal. Oh well, Asterad, please, um... Can we not harvest these organs now? Um... Why won't it let us harvest the organs? Um... With another AMA. It says, um, Quarterson, do you have any army that you would like to kit bash, but maybe it's too expensive, take too long, or is too hard? I think a Skaven Admech army would be really cool. Basically, rats in robes that make Imperial tech with warpstone, and the rest of the Admech let it slide because they invent things that work sometimes. Oh, that's a really fun idea. Yeah, that would look great. Because Skaven and Admech have like quite a lot of similar... Um, they don't need to be alive to harvest. They have a lot of similar like aesthetics, so that fits really well. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. Um, as for me, I don't know. I've had a lot of ideas over the years of like fun armies I'd like to do, and I've not done most of them. Can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, I'd always wanted. I've got a Genius Stealer cult army, but I did always want to do it as the um, the Bladed Cog, which is the cult Genius Stealer cult that's affected a, a Forge world. It would like almost double the cost of the army because you'd have to have, you'd have to kit bash, like admech with, um, with Gene Steel Cult models. And every model would be like half Skitari, half Gene Steel Cult, and it would just cost an absolute fortune. So I didn't do it in the end. Um, but that would always look good. Um, 
wondering why it's not letting me extract these organs. Maybe because it's in the... Let's have a stockpile zone here. No, hold on. Let's have a dumping pile here of, like, high priority. See if uh, Epodax... No. Epodax, stop. Deactivate, please. All right, Asterad. There we go. Got it. Let's see if we get a brain out of this headless corpse, shall we? <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, God, we've got a boomalope. Oh, we've got three boomalopes. Okay, this is about to get messy. Um, right, everyone. Uh, we're in lockdown until these boomalopes are dealt with. Uh, oh, the robots. No. Lock down the robots, too. Jeez. Boom looks dangerous. I mean, surprisingly little damage to the walls and the barbed wire. I was worried it was going to, like, devastate my uh, fortifications. Okay. Is that one not coming for us? Uh, it is, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, everyone, everyone back, back on duty. Um, right. Can someone put those fires out? Um. Oh, okay. Someone's doing it. No, I don't want them over here. Don't allow... Fresh. I don't want them there. Bring them into the freezer. We can cook them. That's just like survival meals waiting to happen. Still a heat wave. Jeez, it's 46 degrees outside. Holy moly. Oh, yeah, what did we get? I didn't watch the harvest. Um... Rotten 146. Where did you come from? Oh, right, okay. Replace the thing. Um, what did we get? We got a we got a lung and a liver. Okay. I'll take it. I can take that. How many brains have we got? We've got three brains. We should build a cogitator. Um Need three more components. I can do that. Um, turn the cremator back on. No, no, I like to keep the um, the harvested bodies in the corpse cupboard because then the dog can come and nibble on them when he gets hungry, and I don't have to worry about the dog eating all my food. Fredvan, that's his little little eat house, and the people aren't allowed in there. Only robots and dogs. Um, so that that's not going to make anyone sad. It's a grim, grim place, the 41st millennium. You know, I'm keeping it on brand. Well, hello. Caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting emus. <gasps> the great emu war has begun. Let's hope we do better than Australia did. Too soon. <laughs> well, take him down. Okay. Good job. You did it, guys. Uh, uh, no loot. Uh, the Fengo just subscribed. Thank you, Fengo. 
What are the blue shots? That's a tail pulse rifle that we we salvaged. Oh, Thrall Owen hasn't got a weapon. He need a gun. What guns have we got? Um, I still haven't finished that Storm Bolter. We can give him the Weber. Thrall Owen, you're in charge of capturing people with this Weber. Grizzle dude, you're 200 bits. Thank you, Grizzle dude. Um, oh wow, the music goes quiet when you go near the harp. <laughs> Victor, I had no idea. Okay, I really need Victor to like finish some of this stuff. Turn that off. Did this finish? Yeah, okay. Turn that off. Um, still trying to make that storm bolter. We finished this Katari hood. Huh, where is it? Oh, there. Okay. Um, Owen, you need to get dressed. All your clothes are ready, Owen. He's like, oh my god, he's sleeping outside like an idiot. Um, we must have a bed for him, surely. Oh, shit, he's going to have to sleep in the hospital then. Um, Alright, we need to make a new wing of the base. Um, hmm, where do we put it, though? Air cons are in an annoying place. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, the prison's 34 degrees. That's awful. Okay, we need to, we need to sort this out. We need to get some vents in here. Uh, we need to get some... Aircon in here. Isn't the heater on in the prison? Well, it, it is on, but it's like set to um, only turn on if it's the temperature's below 18. So don't worry about that. Oh, robot trader. Ooh. Talk to the robot trader. Um, what have you got for me? They got steel. They got cheap, cheap ass steel. I'm gonna buy that. Uh, they got plasteel. Don't really need that. Uh, they got persona core. Compact weaponry. Don't know if we need that. Uh, they got gold. Cheap gold. I could buy gold while it's cheap. Sure. Another cleaning robot. Don't really need it. 10, 10 grand for a tech level 2 servo skull. Oh my god. Um, well, I've only got two brains now. Where do the brains keep going? Because I'm a liver, lung, and kidney. Um, Oh, we used a brain up for the cogitator. Of course we did. Okay, that's fine. What does the cogitator actually do? 25% work speed increase. Cool. Uh, they want to send 11 bug hives at us. I don't know if I want any of those rewards. Nah. Nah. 
Oh, hello. We've got the quest. Is it happening? Um. Here we are. Death Squad has arrived. Oh my god, they've got a proper like mountain base. Look at this. Only one way in. Super choke point 5,000. Who's defending? Baron von Satchel. Worker drone. Saxony. Gustavus II. Fenteros. Dr. Treeman. Uh, Lolman Scott. And Darkano. Okay. Sorry, boys. Lovely to see you and all. But we are going to murder you. Because look at you dum-dums. You've built a fortress wall with a turret. Pointing the wrong way. You danguses. Um... Gonna, it's gonna walk up here. God, this is brutal. They are so outgunned. They're not even gonna get a shot on us. Look at this. Oh, Johnny Ripperoni. Ripperoni boys, holy moly. Oof. Well, that'll do it, lads. Um, anything interesting in there? Oh, they got carpet. Very fancy. Oh, someone stood up. Open fire. Um. Right. Well, there we go. That's what you get for trying to psychically siege us or whatever it was they were doing. Ooh, an executioner pistol. That sounds good. Let's take that. Take all your foods and your medicines, please. And your beers. Um, okay. That'll do nicely. We'll take the prisoners, too. Baron von Satchel. Uh, you're nearly dead. Saxony, you're nearly dead. But we'll see if we can drag you home. Kicking and screaming. You get a donkey ride back to the organ farm. Oh, there's still some enemies in this area. What? Do they count as enemies? Oh, no, there's... No, that's not enemies. Where's donkey? Locker, you're okay, aren't you? Um... Turrets. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll take out the turret. Um, it's my turret now. Okay. Uh, go home. Take these boys with us. Uh... Any good loot? We'll take three joints, sure. Just turn up, steal all their drugs. Very kind. Um, don't need any of these dead boys. We'll take the bears. Uh, take the Plasteel Gladius, sure. Uh, take some random guns. Uh, I'm going to check out that Executioner Pistol when we get back. That sounds good. Oh, 50 bucks, sure. Um, and a turret, why not? Okay, off we go. Man, that was effective. The Skatari Kill Squad. Like, normal humans don't stand a chance. Like, 
it's going to be tough when we fight like Chaos Marines and Tyranids and stuff. But regular human factions, jeez. They just get wrecked. Uh, was I up to date with all your messages? Let me check. Refresh this. Uh, yeah, it looks like I am. Oh, y'all, y'all, Atl, Atty, Atil, thank you for using your Twitch Prime. Uh, Universal Neil, another 200 bits, thank you. Was there a message that came with that? Am I being blind? Uh, thank you for the advice, and cheers, chat, for pushing my question. Yeah, sorry, man, the um, the notifications are being really fucky today. I'm trying my best, but, like, they're just not getting, like, through properly. I don't know why. I have to figure it out after the stream. Thank you to the Fengo for uh, using your Twitch Prime, too. Boy in France cheered 100 bits. Thank you. Uh, oh, who's this? A, a poor man's grind. Use their prime. Thank you very much. And Universal Neil also use their Twitch Prime. Thank you. Yeah, anyone's just got like a prime, prime sub burning a hole in their pocket. I very much appreciate it. Keeps the stream going. It's very good. Wow, Grey Alexander, you've been really nomming these flowers. Oh, uh. Ranchaz, use their prime too. Thank you. Right. And we might have to wrap up in a minute. It's getting late and I haven't had my dinner. Um have we got any quests still going? Alright, uh, we need a throne room that satisfies Fipsy's Praetor title. Okay, what's Fipsy's Praetor title? Uh that up. Oh shit, did they die? One of them didn't make it. Uh, Praetor. So what do they need? Um, meditation. 40 tiles. Impressiveness 90. Two braziers, four columns, harp. No work facilities, no bets. Okay. 90 impressiveness, 40 tiles. Let's check. Um, so it's 10 by 5. So it's, it's definitely big enough. How do I get rid of that plan? Remove plans. Okay. Um, how do we get impressiveness? Mm, not that one. Oh god, someone's infected. Saxony. Oh god, one of the prisoners is infected. They might not make it back. Um. Ah, oh, Rep Rep. Also use dead prime. Thank you, Rep Rep. Uh, what's this? Tom Inks says, "Is your deal with the cast the same as Tom, or are you an active employee?" And this streaming is just a side thing. Um. I am I'm an, an employee of the Oxcast. I'm not like Tom or other content creators. I have a job and a salary, and when I stream out of hours, it's just like a side gig for me. Um, I started doing it partly because I had more time in lockdown, but also partly because my um, my wife had to cancel, had to shut down her business uh, during lockdown. She can't do it while she's uh, while the lockdown laws are in effect. So we needed a little bit of extra income to like pay the bills. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. And it's going far better than I ever thought it would, to be honest. Ben's wife is a partner. Ben's partner is a wife confirmed. Yeah, I have to get out of the habit. I used to always call her my partner because we weren't married until, like, quite recently. We got married a few months ago. Um, but for years, I didn't want to say girlfriend because we lived together for years and had a child. Uh, girlfriend sounded a bit bit lame. So if partner was, like, the best best word I had for it.
Give it a stop finger. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? I was checking. How do I check impressiveness for a room? Is it this one? Uh, oh yeah, very impressive. Perfect. It's good enough. Okay, so we just, once we've lit the braziers, we can do the um, we can do the ceremony. You got confused. No, I have I have a job and a salary with the Oxcast, and then the streaming is like a thing on the side. I have like a day job at the Oxcast of doing various things. Uh, if I could choose, where would I take my career after the Yogs? I honestly don't know. I, there's no like roadmap for this industry because it's so brand new. I don't know what this could lead into. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, I could probably get rid of a couple of these power swords. Uh... Sorry, let me. I'll, I'll answer it properly. Just let me um, sort this out. Um, we could buy a storm bolter, or buy a heavy bolter. Let's buy a heavy bolter. Uh, what else have they got? Oh, that'll do. Oh, it's meaty. Very meaty. Tom and Ben podcast when? <laughs> um, yeah, every Wednesday. Basically, the Warhammer stream is just a podcast about whatever the fuck we feel like talking about. You could probably have just to have that on in the background. I'm going to get my boy some of the new hatchet mag. What is the hatchet mag? Uh, meat, meat rocket wargasm has cheered a thousand bits. Thank you. Meat rocket wargasm. <laughs> what a name. Um, hey, Ben. I know little about Rimworld and even less about Warhammer. But I like the pew pew shooty parts. <laughs> Have some coffee, bunny. Thanks. <laughs> oh man, I'm amazed that anyone can enjoy this without knowing about Rimworld or Warhammer. But I'm really glad that you are enjoying it. That's amazing. Oh shit, Astro's got a heat stroke. Jeez, it's 27 degrees in here. Oh well, the beacons. The beacons are just going to warm the house up, right? Um. Shit. Well, we need. We need a new bedroom, and we need more coolers. Um, right, hang on. What are the coolers set to? Forgotten. Uh, 22. Oh, Psychic Soothe. Perfect. Uh, Tomink's cheered 100 bits. Thank you. It says, here's a dollar in support of your new responsibility of happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Please remove one of Mahon's limbs for failing to calm down the boomalopes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mahon's will find a way to remove his own limbs soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, hair, self-tamed. Very cool. Um... Oh, well, I think the heat wave will be over soon, and then I think I'll be all right. Why does the UK get these amazing discount mini magazines? I don't know anything about it. Is it just a new thing that they've announced? I'll have to look into it. Um, Isambard, as you said, Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Ah, Crypt. Crypt has joined. Amazing. We've got a new new friend. Um, 
they have to wear the same clothes as everyone else, and they have to eat paste. These are the rules. What are they good at? Uh, Crypt is smart boy. Just kind of okay at everything except crafting. But not good at anything. You need a melee weapon, that's for sure. There you go, adamantium power sword. Enjoy. Um, oh my god, you just put everything on, didn't you? Jeez. What are you wearing now? Uh, just normal clothes. Right, queue up. Queue up the uniform. Um, and then... I guess research. Um, just, just do whatever you feel like after that. Um, the Hatchet magazine is basically Conquest, but bigger, and it's called Imperium. You get Necron, Sisters, Space Marines, Admech stuff in addition to scenery. Ooh. Here's a link. Let me see. Well, that's cool. It's like I start collecting kind of dealio. You get like a couple of miniatures, some dice, and a ruler to start with. And then over the weeks, what you get like more more models. Cool. It's a really good way to get started. Oh wow, and yeah, you can choose Chaos Marines, Tyranids, Orcs, or Tau. Wow. That's fun. How much does it cost? That's the real question. Obviously the first issue is only three pounds, but how much is the subscription? Uh, right, then it goes up to nine pounds an issue. So you get six issues for 36 pounds. Uh, hmm. That's not bad, actually. What you, so for that money you get, for £36, you're getting like a step-by-step -step magazine, you're getting brushes, clippers, glue, paint handle, and like a couple of squads. That's actually not bad value. Normally with these like, you know, build the HMS Bismarck over 400 weeks with piece-by-piece -piece models. You know, you see them advertised all the time from Dear Diagostini. They're normally a complete ripoff, and you end up paying like hundreds and hundreds of pounds for one model over the course of a year. But that actually seems like not bad. Are oh, the other factions are premium editions? Ah. Yeah, I mean, nine quid for one mini in a magazine's bad, but with the subscription, getting the brushes and the paints and the glues, it's a lot cheaper than buying that all separately. But it's only worth it if you need all that stuff. If you've already got the basic kit, then it's kind of overkill. Um, and Crypt needs somewhere to sleep. I guess we can just, like, make another spare bed. Uh, yeah, we need more rooms. We need more bedrooms. Which way do we expand, though? Uh, I guess we could actually get rid of the hay field. We don't really need it. We've got 2,000 hay in storage. That's fine. Let's let's expand the base out a bit. What bricks have we got? Uh, limestone. We're making another limestone. All right. Um... Is that what we're making? Uh, trying to make like two more bedrooms, really. But I don't want you have to go through someone's bedroom to get to the other bedroom. That sucks. This layout is horrible. I kind of want to rip the entire base down and start again. Um, maybe we save this for next week. I'll have a think. And restructure the whole base next week because it's late and I'm going to make some bad decisions. But I do actually really want to change everything. Yeah, look, Crypt, you sleep up here for now. 
Uh, oh, Aldranas. Thank you. Cheered 100 bits. In fact, I think this is a pretty good place to leave it. We, what we could do is do Fipsy's Ceremony. And then um, call it there. Let's do that. Let's end this on a lovely note of Fipsy getting a, a new rank. Um, how do we do this? Oh, here they go. They've come. The squad is approaching. Victor's down. What happened to Victor? Food poisoning? No, the paste machine can't poison. Paste is love. Paste is life. Weird. Okay. He's a Praetor now. Very good. What does that mean? We can call for aid better, I guess. Um, they've got an Orc Chopper for some reason. Um, open the Permit screen. Oh yeah, I get a new ability. Um, what is this? Like an airstrike? That's cool. Transport shuttle. Transport everyone 70 tiles. That's pretty cool. If we wanted to go do a far away mission. Call a Yanissary squad. That's cool. Labor team. Food drop. Steel drop. Uh, what's the good one? I've kind of forgotten. I kind of like the transport shuttle, because moving around the map is so slow. Squads are good. Airstrike's good. Airstrike would be good, actually, if there's like an enemy base. Let's try the airstrike. I've never seen it. Uh... Super airstrike. Let's try it out. Because, look, there is a ship here. Oh. Do I need line of sight? Uh, save first. Yeah, good point. Uh... You have to be close. What's the point in an airstrike if you have to be close? How close do you have to be? Oh, geez. Really close. Oh. Boo. Okay, well, we've saved it. This is just a silly, like, try the thing out. Maybe it'd be better if I trick... Like, let's get everyone... Um, because then what we could do is we could open it with a normal gunshot and then airstrike the people that jump out. That feels like it would be more effective. So like we'll get we'll get behind these rocks. These rocks. Um. Oh, unknown ship impact. Oh, geez, another one's just arrived. Bloody hell. Okay. Um. Right, melee guys. Out of the way. Fipsy. What is going on? Why is he so obsessed with this chopper? Um, so let's, let's just shoot it. It's 
It's full of orcs. Okay. Airstrike the orcs. Oh god, it takes ages to turn up. It's not great. It's not great at all. Um, I was I was expecting it to be a bit more, a bit more than that. <laughs> it's no orbital strike, is it? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, this was just an experiment. That was what we said, wasn't it? Like that was just a, like let's see what happens with the airstrike. Um, and now we know. Now we know what it's like. Pretty wimpy. Yeah, I mean, it's useful. If it's, it's, you know, if I'm fighting, I'm going to use it. But it's not, um... It's not amazing. It does look cool. That's true. Uh, there's some bit messages while I was doing that. Uh, General Prophet says, I must sleep now, Bon. Um, I don't think you saw my advice earlier, but here it is. I was watching the VODs and noticed that some of your 40k stuff was too heavy for sidearms. You can set a weight limit in the mod settings of simple sidearms to use the heavier 40k weapons. Ah, that's good to know. Thank you, General Prophet. I'll check that out. Um, Aldrin asked, cheers 100 bits. It says, hi, if you were teleported right in your current state to a hospitable environment, neither Warhammer 40k or Warhammer Fantasy, which would you pick? And which do you think you would have a better chance of surviving? Jeez. I mean, they're both horrendous places to live. I would not want to be in either of them. Um, it depends, doesn't it? Because like 40k, you could land anywhere from between like plate, like demon infested death world to affluent high tech hive city that never gets invaded or nothing bad ever happens. Like it could range from both ends of the spectrum of like worst place to best place in the world. Um, but, you know, I guess knowing knowing Warhammer, it would eventually end up going wrong at some point. I think my survivability chances in either is pretty low. Um, I guess Warhammer, Warhammer Fantasy, because at least I have a chance of like traveling across country and getting somewhere relatively safe you know i could move to marienburg or outdoor for the moot or something like I'd have, I'd have a chance of getting there whereas if if i landed in the wrong place in 40k like i'm never going to get my spaceship um i'm just fucked and who knows if i end up in um why i'm a fantasy land i might be able to like learn magic or something Probably still end up getting executed by a witch hunter or something. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Uh, you can reset your permits, but it'll cost you honour if you want some of the other things. Oh, uh, okay, I might do that. Like, I don't know if I fancy two permit points in that airstrike. Didn't seem great. All right, I'm going to have to bippity boppity boop. I need my dinner. Uh, but thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been a really fun stream. We actually got a lot done. We've built a lot of a lot of tech. We've got cogitators running. We've done a lot of research. We've done a lot of quests. And we've got a lot of new friends who have joined us. We've got three new people this stream, which is pretty cool. Um, I think next week we're going to get them all, like, storm bolters and radium carbines and all that kind of stuff. We'll go full Imperial tech. We've got the, the Weber ready to, like, kidnap people for organs. We're feeding this guy kibble for some reason. Seems a bit mean. Um, yeah. Good stream. Uh, oh. Grim. I'll leave that. <laughs> the extra thank you to everyone who's donated and subscribed and cheered. I really appreciate the support. Keeps the stream dream alive, which is very cool. Let me do a quick check, see if any more donors came in. Um... 
Spongya, donated ten dollars. Thank you, Spongya. And they say so glad streaming is working for you. I certainly enjoy the solo only Bond streams. Keep up the good work and cheers. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that support. Um, I'm probably going to do another painting stream at some point in the next next uh, couple of weeks. I really enjoy doing those. So do give me a follow and follow me on Twitter, and I'll let you know as soon as I know when they're going to happen. Um, it's been real good. Let me see who's uh, who's streaming now. We'll we'll go raid someone. Let's see who's around. Uh, oh man, RT. What's he streaming? That's cool. It's just, you did great. P Flex is streaming. Uh, who else? Um, Bo's streaming. Did some Hoy. Got G Star. Ah, oh, G streaming with Simon again. Learning about Minecraft. That's cool. Um, High Rollers are going. Harry's going. Oh, they're making a PvP map. Man, we might do this PvP map on the main channel. Do you want to go help Harry, like, develop Minecraft maps? That'd be really cool. Let's go say hi to him. I want to see what he's making. Uh, slash raid hurry. <laughs> Tell him to go left. He loves that. He loves it when you tell him to go. He always forgets. He always forgets to go left. So help him out. Tell him to go left. Be a big help. Okay. <laughs> Have fun, guys. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.